Yo, yeah. Hang Hang Sangria. This is your boy, NRE. What up? This is DJ EFN. And right now, we are blessed with the legendary Beyond presence. Beyond blessed. So we gotta, we gotta make some noise? We, no, 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 hold on, hold on, because like, the intro was crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This guy right here, like, listen, listen. Um, they, it's beyond they have, they have, they have the, they have the uh, uh, Godfathers, and uh, du- this man is directly like my father in lyrics, mm. like in in style, and I, I directly try to be like this man right here, and. I, I I I I send out the APB, try to make it happen. Let's big up Hakeem Green off mm. top. Channel Live. Channel Live, Spark Madism. We love you, Hakeem, but we got the blast master. Mm. We got the teacher. Mm. We got the father directly. Temple mm. of hip hop. Mm. All that. Mm. The master. The dude who made it cool to learn in music. And still be entertained. You could be smart and you could still thug it the fuck out. Wow. Yo, the other day, I'm going to be honest, I'm watching Ride Along 2. And at the end of Ride Along 2, my kids, they are eight and they are six. And they sung. They said, woo, woo, this is the sound of the police. And at that moment, I knew uh-huh. I was a great father. I knew at that very moment I was a great father when my kids knew the sound of the police. We have the one and only, legendary, you can't say hip hop without KRS-One, in the building. Drink test, make some noise! Oh my God. We have landed. Yo, you know what the crazy shit is? I'm 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 gonna start the interview off like this. When I was locked up in a juvenile detention center, I had a CO who was taking care of me, right? He was, you know, holding me down. And he could have snuck me weed. Mm. He could have snuck me uh, liquor. Mm. He could have snuck me books. But I wanted that criminal-minded album. This is real shit. This is, you know how much of a big KRS fan For, I am. That's, the track I wanted to do was Y'all Two Together. <laughs> right, exactly. That's how I'm long he's, he's like, yeah. I'm we the biggest KRS One fan, man. Let's just make some noise for him being in the building. Yo. One more motherfucking time. Come on, come on. Cheers, cheers. Yo, yo, we got the fucked up noise makers. <laughs> DJ. So Blastmaster KRS One, how does it feel to be in Miami? How long you been coming out here? Oh man, don't even. No, start. we get into the history of that. Right. Yo, man, I've been coming to Miami since mm. what, like '87. Mm. We were coming up here, man, struggling, trying to be heard. Mm. And there was only a few places that actually, like, embraced us. Philly was always right there. Philly. Mm. Philadelphia, just the whole Philly. That's interesting. Just that, like, we went from New York to Philly. That so, was it. so uh, let me stop. So you think that New York artists, is, is that, like, the first market? Because that's, that, that is for me, too. Like, Philly was the first, then Connecticut. Yeah, that's right. You and, think- and, and see, and look how you said that. Philly right. was the next, and then Connecticut. Connecticut mm. is right on top, like, right there next to the Bronx. Mm. But right. Philly mm. would get it first. Philly right. would hit you first. If you did New York and Philly, Connecticut, right. Yonkers, right. all up, Boston was trying to see you, maybe some of the South like that. So right. going down to I-95, man, was like, mm. I mean, big up the VA, mm. North Cackalack, South mm. Carolina. Mm. It's, it's, it, it was sort of like a, a, a rites of passage. You had to get out of New York, mm. go down each city, each state on the I-95, and your final victory was Miami. Mm. If you made it down now, here. Now, what year are you talking about? Oh, man. See, this is where MCs was real. Right. Uh, straight up. You had to do clubs. Let me take you to the 90s. Let's come around 92. Yep. Mm. That's where I'm. I was Somewhere in around 92. <laughs> I was in jail. Right around <laughs> there. <laughs> Khalid was just starting. He had a thing mm. called the Temple. Yeah. Mm. And right. even right before that. Even before that, no, the night was like a little was before right that. before Khaled. But, oh, yeah, Mother Superior. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Actually, I got it. You know who Nardwar is? No. He's, Nardwar. He's, this, he's this guy who interviews people, and he brings out props mm. that oh, would remind you of stuff. I have okay. a prop. Uh, what okay. I have a prop. Okay. okay. This is what uh, I got oh, at a KRS-1 oh show God. in 92. Oh, oh, let's make some noise to Ian <laughs> Finn oh. having a KRS-1 autograph oh. on a tennis ball. And that's my autograph, too. It's, it's authentic. Authentic. So we're going to put that on eBay. It was a show supposed to be at the spot we called Underground that, Compound, and it got yeah. shut down by the cops, and that's we moved right. it to right. Zulu headquarters. That's right. There was no, the, the AC wasn't on. We took the whole Stereo crowd speakers. With us. People were faking in the audience. It was one of the. And he started throwing these balls. That was crazy. That was right. 90. 
93, four? It's not, it, I was in high school. It was like 92, 93 at the least. At the mm-hmm. least, right? Well, it started right there. That's wow. where we... So you've been coming to Miami since then? Since then, breaking it down, crushing Miami. And it was it a hip-hop scene out here back then? Well, or? back then, Luke was the man out mm. here. Um, Two Live Crew was straight mm. destroying the South. Like, mm. there, was, there was nothing else really happening, mm. to be honest with you. Uh, but there was always that boom-bap element in, mm. in... I mean, just I just have to say Florida, because, you know, from Miami all the way up to... What, Tallahassee even, even Gainesville, Jacksonville, all mm. that's boom bap. That, that's so yeah. hardcore up there. Right. But Luke. Mm. <laughs> but there yeah. was that divide for us in the city between that's the right. bass scene and that's the right. boom bap scene. That's right. There mm. was a divide. I mean, it had its own audience. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It had its own and audience. And it was seen a lot as a New York thing. Right. But we were trying to build that identity for ourselves as but a But I think it was way smaller. But I think the New York thing was way smaller. Two Live Crew. Luke, Luke, that like, whole sound. So you're saying from the beginning when Two Live Crew came, the South immediately accepted them as opposed to New, New York. You had to be hot in New York first no, actually, before you go to Philly. Or wait a minute. The second part is true. Yes, you had to be hot in New York first to right. go to Philly exactly. with the exception of like Tap Money, Three mm. Times Dope, mm. uh, Steady B, even Jazzy Jeff, Fresh Prince. Mm. Uh, they, they blew up in Philly and convinced mm. New York. Mm. Uh, uh, what it was, but you have um, back then the bass scene. See, I'm trying to think of dudes that were not so popular, but Miami had a bass scene that mm. boom, like MC Shy D, Shy D. Come on, Gucci let me hear, boys, yeah. let me hear Gucci that. Crew, Come on, that's <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there were these dudes with the doing ghetto it. style DJs. That's right. Jam so, Pony. so Luther Campbell and Two Live Crew was on top of that. They right. came up out of uh-huh. that scene. They didn't really invent it, right. but they was just sort of the the popular ones that did, that was mm. doing it. And Luke was just, I went to one of his concerts one night. Right. Yo, you wouldn't believe what right. was going on. And then on top of that, what makes it really, really hip hop on, on, on that level mm. is that 2 Live Crew was, was the ones that were dragged into court. Mm-hmm. Um, on obscenity charges, mm-hmm. and had they lost that case, rap would be sounding a whole wow. lot They're different. They're the parental right advisory. Now. Let's make some noise for that happening. No, come, on. Yeah. come on, come on, come on, come on. Yo, you motherfuckers, clap no, your hands. Yeah. We gonna kick y'all out. Come on. That's come on. right. Wow. Yo, even when you're rolling a blunt, man, stop and clap your fucking hands. All right. <laughs> we got the blast master in the fucking building. All right. So, um, you got that? You got that? That, that thing that I want to set up? Yeah. Yeah, all right, play that, play that real quick. I want to play something for you. One of the one of the greatest calls I ever got in my life. And um, is set up, Has? Yeah. It's Cool Herc, what's up, my brother? It's, 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 it's the gnarly, gnarly show. That's right, my brother, what's going on, man? I just missed your call, man. Yeah, man, um... I got you on speakerphone right now, man. Let them let them dudes know, baby. Let them dudes know you the godfather of hip hop. Cool hurt. Yeah, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the order. I'm the first. Number one. Not five, not ten, not twelve. Number one. That's right, you baby. I mean? You the original OG. I'm looking for a few, but I'm calling on you. Yeah. Any other soldiers falling around, let's get this money. That's right, uh-huh. baby. You know I love you. To... Man. It's overseas, man. Absolutely. You know I love you to death, Cool Herc, man. You know what I mean? I love it. <laughs> All right, baby, hold on. I'm going to take this off of this shit so me and you can speak private. But, yo, man, just let the people know one more time. This is my Dyslexia album, man. Tell them niggas, you know what I mean? <laughs> Word, I got an album called Dyslexia, you know, man. You're the in this game, my brother. Realist, that- man. I like the movie it was in, too, man. Ah, oh, thank you, man. This this, this the godfather, <laughs> Cool Herc, of the game speaking to y'all fucking assholes. Cool Herc yeah, right here. Tell them I'm the father, not the godfather. Godfather's secondary. I'm the first. You the father, the father. All right, my brother, hold on. I'm going to hit you right back. All right, Herc? Yeah, yeah. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. So uh, one day I got a call from Cool Herc. Okay. Right? Which is, for me, I'm a real hip-hop guy. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I respect everything that came before me. Right. And when Cool Herc called me, I had called him something. I said, you're the godfather of hip-hop. Mm. And I said it once, and he let it slide. <laughs> And then I said it again, and he let it slide. But then the third time I said it, I said, Quirk, let these motherfuckers know you the uh, 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 godfather of hip-hop. He said, Nori, hold on. Let me stop you. I am the father. 
Do you agree with that statement? Yes. I totally agree with the statement. It, there's there's huge debate on it. Okay. Because everyone wants to take credit for hip hop now, mm -hmm. for its origins. Mm -hmm. Uh, we call, technically, to be scholarly correct, mm. Cool Herc is called the recognized father of hip-hop. The mm. recognized father of hip-hop. Mm -hmm. We call him the father of hip-hop. All right. I'm and the reason we call him the father of hip-hop is because Bam called him the father of hip-hop. Mm. Grandmaster Kaz called him the father of hip-hop. Pee Wee Dance and Grandmaster Flash. Mm -hmm. From this group, and Crazy Legs. Mm called him the father of hip hop. Now this is a family situation. All these guys, we all know each other. And they know but, each but other. But you're their younger homies. Correct? Oh yes, no okay. doubt. Go ahead. No Go doubt. Ahead. I, 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 Herc calls me the son of hip hop. Listen. Because Okay, let me break it down for me. Yes. Right? For me. All right. For me, when I heard Herc say that he was the father, yes. I automatically saluted that and never yeah. and then I th I thought of Bam Bada as the yes. godfather. Yes. And then I think of you Rakim, Big Daddy Kane, yes. as the fathers. Right. Right? Right. And then then after that comes Wu Tang. Like, where are your little cousins? Wu Tang, right. Mob Deep, the Fat Joes, yeah. the Capone and Noriegas, the yes. MOP. Yes. Yes. We're actually your sons direct. Yes. Like, I don't know, pause. Yes. I, I know these yes. new generation, uh -huh. but you're actually our fathers. Right. Like, you, wow. uh, Rakim, wow. Big Daddy Kane. And so I have to ask this question, with that being said, with the name being, like, how, how is hip-hop supposed to respond to the bambata? Like, how are we supposed to do that? What, you're, you're, you're what angle father. you want to take it from? I, I, I just don't know. That's why it's a generic question. Which, what, what, what should we do? Because you, you, you being our father, sure. whatever you say, I have to move accordance to it. Well, you know, I, with, with the, first of all, mm -hmm. controversy... Mm -hmm. is not truth. Mm. Mm. What you want is truth right mm. now. You, you want truth. Right. But truth is also not information. It's not gossip. Mm. It's not even conversation. Mm. For me, if you keep it hip-hop, right. nothing can be taken away from Africa. Band no, nothing. No, not at all. Not nothing. At all. Nothing. Right. nothing. Just keep it hip-hop. Right. But if you want to dig into dude's personal life and the right. accusations that's being made and so on, right. personally, me personally, I don't give a fuck. Right. Personally. Right. Look, if, if somebody was harmed or whatever right. was done or whatever, y'all deal with that shit. What? Right. What? Deal right. with it. Right. That don't stop hip hop. Right. That no. don't stop what it you did take away, for take hip hop. Don't take away the legacy. Don't right. take away none of it. History's history. Right. Right. But deal with your, deal with that. That's personal. I, right. I don't, you know, I, I don't even know what to say. Because I don't know the facts of the past case the per No, but even yeah. if you knew the facts. Right. You know what I'm saying? A person like me, I deal with, with dudes that are questionable all the time. Right. Not just if, if, if the accusation is rape. Right. I, do, I know dudes that are doing, you know what I'm saying? Right. If, you, if you know anybody from prison, if you know anybody right. from the shelter, if you know right. anybody, if you live really mm -hmm. in the hoods, you know shooters, you know dudes running right. from the, you know your man might have an open warrant on him right, right. now, right. like yeah. right now, right. like yeah. you know what I'm saying? Right. You know, I'm not judging these motherfuckers, man. Right. It's my nigga right here, yo. Right. That's it. Right, right. Now, what you do and your crime and your shit and right. your bullshit, whatever you doing, that's right. on you. That's right. you, my G. That's whatever right. you doing. That's how I always dealt with it. I can't right. pick and choose, say, yo, this dude right here. I mean, I was producing Just Ice album, right? Right. Who's crazy? I heard, I heard he came to Queensbridge by himself. <laughs> I mean, is this story on. true? Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's make some noise for Just Ice Man. Let me change the subject, too. I was uncomfortable. Let's change the subject. Let's go. Yeah, but. I mean, yeah. he was on America's Most Wanted, is my Whoa, point. whoa, let's make yeah. some noise for him being on America's Most Wanted as well. Come on, goddammit. This is real hip hop shit. This is shit. real hip hop shit, right. man. Hip hop is in the world like everybody else, like every other culture. We in the world. Like politicians too. with dirty like backgrounds. Like politicians with dirty. Listen, bottom word. line is, we. we we are humans. Yeah, in that's right. All we of us humans. are humans. We are all humans. <laughs> that's right. But now, with that being said, right, what is your favorite MC battle? Because, mm. I mean, you don't have to, you, you can include mm. yourself if you want to, but what is your favorite MC battle? 
To be honest with you, I mean, there's a lot. There's there's a okay. few that I really enjoy. Whichever comes to the top of your head. The first one that comes to my head is Freeway and Cassidy. Mm. For me... Let's make some noise for KRS-One. <laughs> no, what's going on? Look at back to Philly. He know what's going on in the streets. Get no, ahead. no. that that's. Uh-huh. I mean, it's an old battle, but if yeah. you talk about showmanship, you know, right. instant rhymes on deck right, right there, that was hot. Okay. Yeah. Um, Okay. You know, I got to ask you about oh, the Drake that? and Meek Mill. What's up? What, 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 how did you like it? Did, did you like it? Was it, is it isn't your, is it even a your battle to you? 20 battles? I think, I think it gave both of them credibility. Mm, in what I, way? I need you to break that Well, down. because for me as an MC, like, like when people say top five, okay? Right. Everybody got their top five. Everybody, right. you know what I'm saying? But if you ain't battled, mm. if you ain't did tours, mm. if you ain't put no hits out, right? If you ain't put somebody else on or mm. came from a legacy that was wild, mm. you ain't even nowhere near the top five. So mm. dudes is like, I- I'm looking for young cats today to really rise up to the criteria first. Mm. First, where's your battle? Mm. You say you dope, bring it right now because there's niggas like me out here, like right. straight up. I'm, yeah. I stay hungry. <laughs> Still okay, right. no, stay no. hungry. No, we heard okay. your new diss record. We're going to get to that. Oh, no, no, we're going to get to that. No, 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 So you claim you right. hungry. You claim, right. oh, yo, I'm the man. I'm a, I'm a this and Now, today right. with social media, right. you could claim anything. Mm. And everybody, so with Drake and Mills, to me, it gave them the credibility that they needed for even me to look at them as real MCs. I mm. like both of their lyrics, by the way. Drake, mm. I think, is underrated in terms yeah. of, because maybe he's doing the pop thing or whatever, right. but his lyrics is still dope from now, an MC perspective. Now, let me, I don't, I don't want to cut you off, but there's been allegations that he had help on his lyrics. You, Ghost writers. Yeah. You, how do you feel? I, this, I'm very curious of this I, I Look, look. Because, but, because you do come from a day where people were by, um, writing Bismarck lyrics. Right, And Bismarck right. was up front about it. Ice Cube said, um, Easy E said, Ice Cube, write the rhymes, that I say. Right. And to me, Easy E <laughs> is one of the most killerest dudes no, no out doubt. there. So how did you feel when you found out that Drake might have had some help? Was That doesn't disturb me at all. Wow. It, it, it diminishes him uh, in front of those that write their own lyrics. Mm. Okay, now those of us that spit the raw from our own heart, mm. y- you you really got to step up and come up to the plate on that level. But we're talking about MCing as a whole art. Talk about rap as a whole art. Mm. No, if you got a dope writer that can make you sound like something, mm. go ahead and get with dude. The issue is writing. Mm. This is the issue, writing. Dope. Mm. Rhymes. Right. I don't give a fuck where it comes from. Wow. Writer, whoever, some of the dopest dudes, and I'm not going to call no names. Rhymes, right. you say, yo, it's like right. there's secrets in hip hop, okay? <laughs> right, right, the right, dopest right. dudes right. had dude right. write for them. Right. That's not a problem. Now, right. me, I never had the privilege of anyone writing for me, right. okay? I, I, you know. You're too smart. Nobody they, can't no, write. No, but you, wait you, a minute. No, no, let me tell you, right. you let me tell all you. Right, right. If Rakim came to me with a rhyme, I'd this say that shit. This is crazy. I'd I need, say that shit. This is crazy. I need to make some noise for that. Everybody here, here. Make some noise. Yo, Drake, you have... Listen, Drake, send me the check. I have just saved you. <laughs> I have just saved you. You are back cool in every community, Drake. I, Yo. KRS has said it on the Drink Chess podcast that he's okay. No, I'm okay. Look. Not in, in real spitters that write they rhymes. Right. You they diminish will never yourself. Be okay. It'll never be okay with right. real spitters that write they shit, mm-hmm. okay? Mm-hmm. But that's our lane. That's our category. That's a level right. of excellence that you right. have to get uh-huh. to. Right. Okay? Right. Now, but my issue is right. Ru- Look, here's the opposite. Okay. Some dude writes your rhymes and they whack, and you say them shits anyway. I heard dudes say whack rhymes that they didn't even write. <laughs> right, right, right. That's corny. Yeah, okay? that's the issue. Okay. <laughs> but if you got a real shooter with you, dude is writing raw shit. Mm. Well, make sure he pay the brother. Right. Make sure he gets some credit at some point in your career. Right. But say that shit. Right. Say that dope shit. Hip hop needs dope lyrics. Right. We don't need dope MCs. Understand? Right. We need mm. dope lyrics. We need mm. the right. I don't care where it come from. Right. Your moms could write you some shit. Right. That shit is dope. <laughs> right. Let's Say make that. some noise for somebody's mom. <laughs> <laughs> come on. Come on. Yeah, for moms, come write on. lyrics.
lyrics, my Mom, G. So you, like you're saying it's just the vessel. It's just the vessel. MCs are the vessel. Look, if you really get down to it, I don't write my own lyrics. God writes my Ooh, lyrics. God damn it. So God if you think about it, none of us are writing our own lyrics. We all, any MC that's, that writes his lyrics, you, you, you know you're sitting there with the pen, the pad, or whatever, your phone, whatever it is, and you hum your shit out. Right. You hear that shit from someplace yeah, yeah. else. Right. You're like, mm, 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 criminal mind. Yeah, see, he's a human. DJ, so I know what he's talking about. And DJs yeah. don't even yeah. start right. with that. You, it, yeah. As producers, you hear the beats yeah. before you hit the thing. You know what you're going to do before you do it. You hum it out, you bang it out, but you hear something. So no one is original. No, no art is original. We are all being influenced by everything and everyone. The mm. corny motherfucker is the one who doesn't say, yo, my G wrote this, give it three years, four years. You know, you made some success after right. you got on. Pick your man up. Acknowledge, bring, man. acknowledge yeah. your dude, man. Right. Yo, this is what it is. Hit him with his cash. Yo, he know you know he helped you get where you gotta go. Hit him right. with his cash. Right. Make sure he's good and his family is good. That's right. respect in hip hop. That's big respect. Now in this day, like a lot of the OGs, they'll sit back and they'll be like, you know, uh, I, I don't like this. Are, 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 do you listen to the, what's going on now? Or you... No, nah, they had their chance. They're over. <laughs> They're finished. Let's make some noise. Now, nah, fuck that. Let's make some noise. Fuck <laughs> that. They had their chance. That shit is over. Right. That shit's over. Fuck all that old school shit. All that right. shit's done. Okay. So you, so you do listen to the new school or no? Yeah. I, I, okay. I listen to everything. Wow. Okay, I listen to everything. Okay, wow. I was just with my man, L.A. Sunshine. Mm. He put a book out. We was just kicking it up in the Bronx. Mm. That's my G right there, Kumo D. That's right. my G, Busy B. Right. No doubt. These are my dogs, no right. doubt. But let me let me let me see Joey Badass right now. Let All me right. see God you know um yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like like I, I don't wanna call names, but I'm just no, saying you, you can. Let, let me just, just yeah. <laughs> let's get him another drink. Let's get him another drink, please. Please, please, please. 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 You know, but no, I listen to everything, man. I right. I, I just Yeah, I just absorb it all. Yeah, I I I really appreciate um you having that attitude because now I am they call me an OG now. I'm 38 no doubt, years no old. Doubt, no doubt. You know, doubt. I'm, 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 hip hop was born in w what year? Hip hop. Well, 73 is the scholarly. Yeah, 73. Yeah. I was born in 77. See? So now they're calling me an OG. That's right. And I want to sit back and I want to give back to this life. No doubt. So we, we, we're doing this podcast. I want to give people like you a platform to say yeah. whatever the fuck you want to say. You sure about that? Anytime you... You yeah, sure about no, no, that? No, no, it's okay. We're, <laughs> yeah, we're, yeah. We don't give a fidgety <laughs> duck We don't care if this ends That's tomorrow. That's why we get you another drink. <laughs> yeah, first off, this has been one of my um, uh, accomplishments in life. You know, people got bucket lists. Wow. You know, you always been a person that I've learned from. Wow. Like, whether you know it direct or indirect. Okay. Y'all ain't even asked me to pass the blank. Y'all some foul people, but it's okay. <laughs> I, I understand, from Kendall. So, oh, uh, no, nah, look at the ear fans here. Look. So, you directly, you directly, uh, somebody said to me the other day, they said, Jay-Z and Jay the Kiss raised me with their bars, and it fucked me up. Because mm. I was like, damn, well then. I always told people, if you take KRS-One, and then you take a little bit of Bismarcky, and a little bit of Granddaddy IU, that's when you get N-O-R-E. Wow. You, but you notice, I never took none of y'all styles, but I was nah, influenced. You was out of... Out, that, Don't that's let me three, start on th you. Yeah, that's, that's three totally different people, but that's who made me because you taught me that black is beautiful. No doubt. And be yourself. That's right. Biz that's taught not. me, Biz taught me, life ain't that serious, homie. Have, Have some fun. fucking Have fun. fun. And then Granddaddy IU told me how to be exact opposite of him because he was so smooth. Right. Like, I feel like Granddaddy IU was like the cane that never, I, I, I'm going to take it. It's my first interview ever smoking. Ha, yo, big up Hakeem Green. So my brother, up. my brother. Another legend with us. Another guy, legend with us. He look, another legend is in the building. Spark Madism. Let's just get into that, man. Yeah. Wow. How did Spark Madism come about? Damn. I, well, first of all, Hawk was a was a school teacher. No, I didn't, never knew this. <laughs> Let's make some noise for Hawk being a school teacher. God damn it. With the teacher, okay. With the teacher. So he was one of the, the many teachers and professors I was rolling with at about 93. Mm. Hawk rolled up and said, yo, 
So I, I took, he kept coming to my lectures. I was doing lectures around. So he kept coming to the lectures. So I said, you know, you look like you were MC. Mm. You look like, you know, you get there. He had the braids back then. Yeah, the, no, I, yeah, he was just starting. That's right. Starting, little twist. Little and uh, I said, yo, you look like an MC. He was like, wow, how did you? So make a long story short, I heard him. I loved it. But I said, the solo MC thing, not going to work. Right. We need two people. This is like DOS mm. Effects was hitting, nice and smooth. Because the, they were signed Capone to you, right? Yega. They were signed yeah. to you, right? Yes. Well, okay. technically, to, to, to my wife. Mm. Uh, G, and Mad Lion? G. Simone was running Front Page Records. Okay. Technically, KRS was with the label, Channel mm. Live, mm. Mad Lion. Mm. Um, <clears throat> for a minute, even Fat Joe. Mm. Uh, oh, but, wow. but we was closing the label, at, at, at the at, closing the company, the management company, at the time when Joe just started to blow. Wow. We was just coming down on, on, on that level. Same thing with, um, <clears throat> excuse me, Praz and... Um, the and um, no, not the food. Before they were the food. Oh yeah, oh. Right, actually the refugees. Right. Mm. It was just Pras and um, Y. So you had Club. a chance to sign them. Yes. Oh, we, we 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 did some of their first KRS, shows. You fucked up. Man. You know, for, no, no, <laughs> no. That was no, 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 no. It, we Come wasn't on. in no position whatsoever to deal with them. Right. They they you could see, Wycliffe used to pull out a, a guitar. No, he still does it. In the middle of a yeah. like mad hip hop. Yeah, back then it was. No, yeah, no, he still does it. It'd be weird. You just be chilling. We rocking, just, he just started oh, rocking out. Like yeah. you know, we was so like, you know what, you go ahead. And uh, but it but it was dope. So anyway, we got in the studio. And, you know, I, I grew up in an herb culture. You know what I'm saying? I grew up right. in Flatbush, Brooklyn, mm. Church Avenue, right there, mm. at Erasmus High School, Wingate High School. Shout out right. to Prospect Park, the whole nine. Right. So I grew up there in the 70s, when you were born, 77. 77. I was in the park. Let's pick it up for KRS memory. <laughs> his memory is always <laughs> impeccable. His, his memory is impeccable, <laughs> man. We right, were in Brooklyn. In Brooklyn. In Brooklyn. Oh, you trying to get Brooklyn some props? That's what, <laughs> is that what's going on, Hakeem? Yeah, 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 yeah. So there we uh -huh. was in Flatbush. So right. I grew up in, in, in herb culture and not from the point of view, right. like, oh, we just going to smoke bud. I was with, with Rastas and right. the Ethiopian Orthodox Church. We had the Bible open. Dudes right. were smoking toward the east. Chalice <laughs> oh, burned right. down Rome every time the chalice burned. Right. You had to say, yo, we was like in that culture for real. So right. it was like, I grew up with like no problem. Like, yo, burn the bud. What? It's no big right. deal. What? Right. Moved up to the Bronx when I became homeless, like around 1981 or two. So, so that up, story is true. You was homeless. Oh, yeah, no doubt. About oh, four wow. years. That's how I met Scott LaRock. Wow. Uh, he was a social worker in the shelter. But we'll get wow. back to that okay, later. Okay, yeah, cool. For real. Uh, so I grew up in the culture. So for me, Peter Tosh, since 1971, was yelling for the legalization of marijuana since 71. Mm. Everybody know that... You know, the judges are smoking, the cops mm. smoke, the doctors been saying, mm. this is the safest plant. In fact, this is the healing of the nation. This mm. right here, Alzheimer's, cancers, mm. you name it, herb is the healing for that. Mm. But now you got this tax issue <clears throat> and you got this dudes that don't want to give up their power. They get more money and more power selling it illegally. Right. You don't. Re you really don't want the government selling weed. You really don't want that because mm -hmm. the, the idea is that it's going to get whack. It's like whatever yeah. the government put there, they can't even teach English correctly. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. anything that the government puts his hand into, it starts to get sterile. It starts to get whack. You don't have no right. competition. Watered down. Water down. So dudes is like, nah, we want to grow that shit right there in Mexico, right there in Afghanistan, right there up in Colorado. And now Colorado... Seattle, they just went rogue with it and yeah. just said, you know what, we just going to do it. And I think it was done for the kids mm. in the area because they're not locking their kids up. Right. You know what I'm saying? They're they, they not going to do that. they rather change the laws than right. see their kids and the family go through that. That's why I think it really got legalized. Mm. You could cite medical this or medical that, mm. but really it's an it's a, it's a issue of going to prison. Families have been ruined mm. by just smoking a joint or having mm. herb on you. This is a plant that grows in, in the world. Like, how is the government, like, even allowed to tell you how you should think? Mm. Like, right. that's the beginning. Like, like, if I smoke bud and I'm like, yeah, I feel great on this, why are you telling me I, I don't? Like, like, like the use of the word nigger, for instance. All right. Same shit. 
This my nigga right there. I know right. what I'm saying. Right. I, nigga, I got three PhDs, nigga. <laughs> right, right. I write books, nigga. Right, right, right. What? I know what the fuck I'm saying. Right. But nah, black people ain't supposed to think. We not right. supposed to have governance over our own mouth, over our own thinking. Right. So if I tell you, listen, when I say my nigga, I'm talking, I really mean my brother. Right. Listen to how I say it. Right. My nigga. Right. That's my brother right there. Now, right. I just told you what it is. Right. The problem is there's no law in the United States made by black people that white people are bound to respect. Mm. Imagine we follow all they laws. Mm -hmm. What law they follow of ours? Mm. There's no Latino brother that came. I said, look, this is what helps Latino people right here. And y'all gonna follow, we want blacks, whites, everybody. You're gonna follow our laws. Right. We, we follow the constitution. We follow state ordinances. Right. All that's white law. Mm. But here's now the Native American law. Mm. What, why are we not, nah. This country's not built on following anybody else's law except their own. Mm. And when it comes to marijuana, <clears throat> it becomes an issue of freedom of thought. Mm. Like, this is how I think. Do you have the right to tell me what state of mind I should be in too? Mm. <laughs> like, like, no, I, this is the state of mind that I feel I should be in. And as a matter of fact, the U.S. Constitution, it's federal law to be happy in the United States. Mm. What? What? Wait, the what? pursuit of life, what? liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. So if you get happiness, that's illegal? If you're sad and depressed in the U.S., you broke federal law. Wow. You broke federal law. The government should be doing the, the, the Constitution and the Declaration of Independence. The spirit of it is all about liberty, justice, freedom, happiness. For the, all. For all. The pursuit of happiness is law. So I'm going to change it up real quick. Come on. <laughs> A crazy hip-hop story is you went to the Palladium. What's this? And you threw P.M. Dawn off the stage. Damn. I got to get this story. Let's make some noise. I got to hear the story. The rest of you. Yo, that's when, like, you've you been my hero. But, like, it's like, that, that's when I made my choice for Malcolm and Martin. It was like Martin, like, I, I still think Martin wow. was killing people at night, like, when he went. Like, I think, still think Martin was a shooter. Like, I still, in my heart, no in doubt. my heart. No but but right. Malcolm, Malcolm was like, straight up, I'm going to shoot you back. So when Chris, I can call you Chris? Yeah, I'm, no doubt. I'm, I'm very, I feel like I'm honored to call Come you. Come on. That. So I felt like. The minute you threw PM Dawn on stage, it's like, yes, he can teach me and he'll still whip your ass. Damn. That's exactly what I wanted. That's exactly Damn. who I am. Make some Damn. fucking noise. Come on. Damn. So what did he do for you to throw him off the stage? I, I never really got that part of the story. Well, if you want the scholarly approach. <laughs> nah, we, no, we don't. We're the, we we the nigga approach. Okay, well, here it is. <laughs> I get, I get, I get. So dude start mouthing off in Details Magazine. Okay. Okay. Now this is now this is the mood that we're in around this time. I think we're. Talk, I forgot what year this was. This is a ninety six. Eighty eight, ninety. No, no, no. No. Oh no, it was ninety two. Ninety two. Okay. Cool. It's ninety two. And uh, was it the Palladium? Was I? No, it wasn't it, the Palladium. Well, 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 okay. It was a, a small club in Manhattan. I don't remember the. Name. It was one of them clubs that had like like car wash was. It mm. wasn't. That wasn't the name of the of the place. That's just mm. the, name the name of the, of the night. The night. Right. right. It was. It was Sound fast. Let's pick up Hakeem Green Hakeem, for remembering the class. Hakeem, that's right. God damn it. Come on, come on, Karis. What's going to happen? So Sound Factory, uh, mm -hmm. okay, wait a minute. Now, here's the mood of it, 92, okay? okay? 92. <clears throat> Around this time, this is when, like you said, mm -hmm. uh, knowledge was just mm -hmm. hitting hip-hop. Hip-hop mm -hmm. was some ignorant ass shit, okay? Mm -hmm. Of course, you did have Run DMC. You had Houdini. Mm -hmm. You had those that were actually rocking on, on a supposedly more intelligent level, especially Run DMC with It's Like That and and um, all type of records. I'm, I'm sorry, they, I just got to salute doing. you in the oh, mid-interview. No, no, just no, do that. No, yeah. You know what I'm saying? First off, you know, no, just for no, the, the no, viewers no. to know, Karis One is drinking a Mai Tai. If you and it's haven't, a good one. He's drinking with the drink chairs. If you this haven't good one, traveled, too. you probably don't know what a fuck a Mai Tai is, okay? No doubt. So this is, you got to, this is a Hawaii drink. <laughs> I would like to you continue to drink. That's how you know wow. Karis been getting our money for a long time. Well, he was time. in Tahiti or something. Yeah, I'm, I'm with this shit. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you for, thank you for coming again. I, I'm yo, sorry. Thanks for opening you, your door. Can this you continue crazy. your story, Okay, please? so anyway, okay. so anyway, so, so. The mood in 92. I was about to pass you the weed, but I'm going to slow nah, down. Nah, I'm going to slow, slow down. I'm, I'm good. I'm going to slow I may down. get you later, though. Yeah, that's uh, what I'm Look, 
this this mood, this time is when I had just put out You Must Learn, mm -hmm. the Stop the Violence movement. Why is that? And then what is, what's the PM <clears throat> Dawn joint? What's the joint he got out? I don't know why was, he tested um, you. Why did he test forever, you? It was no, it Let's just get to the point. Chris. Well, it wasn't just me. Well, he he, he tested more people. Yes. Than you? Okay. He, All he, right. He, he was in, it out. in his details magazine. <laughs> okay. He had said something pertaining to the fact he said NWA is nothing. Mm. Uh, Chuck oh, D is making mountains out of molehills. Oh, we should have killed him. And KRS One is uh, KRS One wants to be a teacher, but a teacher of what? And oh, we should have for him. me, it didn't <laughs> matter for me. But Chuck at the time was receiving death threats because of the controversy with Griff. Mm. Griff had, had the made Jewish a comments, right? the Jewish yeah. comments. Griff had made a statement. Mm. So Public Enemy was under real heat in America. Okay? Right. And this dude just sold like a million records. So he had a really good year, you know, selling records. Right. So he's just mouthing off. Like, it's our time now. These... The, wait, Don't the, worry, Karen. You can drop, you can drop the drinks. Old, Don't worry about it. You know, these dudes is over. NWA ain't nothing. Right. Uh, Chuck D. Public Enemy ain't saying nothing. KRS this. So I let it go for a minute. So but, this, this, this was like over months. This, this is like, over, like just one time. No, okay. no, no, no. This is over a period. And it wasn't just him. Mm. So I had also um, a little running with X Clan around the same oh, time. Sure. No, I've never heard this okay, story. Okay, me and X Clan were going back and forth with, with I mean, Brother Jay was. You know, calling me Captain Human and oh, this, that, and the, the other. Is this, is this, yeah. Well, it wasn't that wasn't directed to us. No, but it okay. was them. But it was them. Mm. Yeah. And if and if you're battling me, then maybe right. it was. Wow. So there was X Clan. Bam chilled it all out back right. then. X Clan was Zulu. Right. Okay. So he cooled it all out. We had a press conference and just kissed right. and made up. That was the end of that. Right. But there were others, dudes in the hood. They, for some reason, they felt, people felt, that if you come out advocating peace, right. knowledge, wisdom, that I was coming with you, must learn. Face. That yeah. somehow, <laughs> I'm, we supposed to be soft? Or yeah, 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 somehow, yeah. what, you going to run up? Or yeah. uh, I don't know what it was. And I was yeah. naive yeah. because all my dudes was straight gangsters like I'm talking right. about I'm right. trying to take dudes off the street convince them yo we can right. go on tour man right. you ain't gotta do this right. you ain't gotta do that and dudes is like yo if you can show me another way out of here we could do this so I'm trying to take these dudes and we trying to leave the hood okay we trying to be positive we got to stop the violence movement and PM Dawn and here this dumb dude shit. come uh, yeah let's get to it okay a resident shower baba baba he just got finished with X Clan with that um, lynch mob had made a statement. Ice Cube, self destruction. Oh, don't pay the fucking rent. Oh, this is after self destruction. Yeah, this is after yeah, yeah, this all. This is why you a real gangster. High this five. is what it is. This, this is why you a real this gangster. Is what it was. Make some noise for him. You ain't this gonna play that. me. You ain't. We gonna stop the violence, but if the violence comes, <laughs> we, come, we gonna bring the violence. And right. so, for some reason, <laughs> right? They thought it was soft in my corner. And so, PM Dawn is not from New York, correct? No. What is he no, doing? He, he came no, no, to no, New no, York. No, 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 he would have I don't know what that was. And so, the, so I want to know uh, the altercation. What did you, did you <laughs> say something to him or you just do him on the stage? No, 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 no. How it happened. No, 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 no. This what happened. He, so he made his allegation and he made some other allegation on the radio or something like that about he was ready to battle or something or, or some kind of lyrical something. No, so I was like, great. Mm -hmm. Let's just take it right there. And, and leave it there. You're calling my name out. What do I got to do with you? I'm doing my own thing over here. Right. But he was riding a wave that right. was saying that groups like NWA, Public Enemy, Boogie Down Productions, they bullshit. Right. And hood, we hood, the hood shit. People. Right. Yeah. Hood dudes is right. bullshit. This is the new shit. Mm. And so there was a big party for T-Money. Back in the days, T-Money was a Yo! MTV Raps yep. host with mm. Ed Lover and Dr. Dr. Trey. Mm. <clears throat> big party in them in New York. Mm. Everybody, the industry was there, which is why we had two chances. He was going to play in uh, somewhere. He was, he was going to play with his own show. He was going to mm. either go there mm. or we could go right here to Manhattan where it was popping. And we said, you know what? Let's do Manhattan. Mm. 
because the industry is there. This is T Money's birthday party. Mm. We said, you know what? Let's set it straight real quick right there. A couple other dudes was in the crowd. Mm. They was called, yo, KRS ain't shit. What the fuck? Da, da, da. They were in the crowd too. Mm. So when I got there, mm-hmm. we were so amped. Like, we was just so, and when I say we, I'm, and again, I don't want to call no names and put nobody on You can blast, if you want. You can if you want. But, you know, just to yeah. color the story and give you some background on it. So, it was me there. It was Just Ice, Queen Latifah. Latifah wow. had her crew. Yeah. Naughty by Nature. Naughty had they crew. Because he dissed Naughty and, and, and them too And as them well? too. Well, oh. no, no, no. no. Oh, they no, was just there no. with you. They was just there with me. This is, this is the Let's early days of Flavian. <laughs> These last crew right this, is, this is the yeah, early I, I, days. Trash this is, is my nigga. So yeah. I this is the early days. I can picture the scenery. Right. I can picture the scenery. This picture early <laughs> trash. <laughs> okay. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They all giddy. Right. Like, yo, when right. do we go? Right. Oh, so you set it up. Because yeah. you know, let me just tell you something. I don't know if you know. That is a trend now. Mm-hmm. When a person has a beef with somebody, they book them for a show. Right. And then when the person, they come out, they'll do one or two songs. Right. And then they'll bum rush the shit. Right. But you set that trend. I don't know if you know that. Well, you know what? Yes, I don't know if you <laughs> We know didn't that. mean to. Well, you set the fucking trend. Let's make some noise. <laughs> the KRS <laughs> setting it is. Right. Yeah. Right. Look. Look. He so we went up. It wasn't a setup in the sense that we knew we were gonna go there, right. but we knew we had two choices. Right. And it was like the day before. Right. So we chose this one. So did you actually talk to him prior to that? No. Or no? no. So you no just talk. waited for him to get on stage? Just waited for him to get as a matter of fact, the word had gotten out because I said, yo, I'm here to battle. It wasn't about throwing nobody off stage. Okay. It wasn't I'm still stop the violence, yo. Right. Peace, <laughs> right. my right. G. Right. We still right. rolling like right. this. That's why right. it was so controversial. That's why it was happened. right. Yeah. So when I, I I jumped up, what happened was I think one of his boys or something, he had a little crew with him, somebody right. with him. So when we jumped on stage, I remember Super Cat. I can't even front my oh, man shit. Super Cat. Right. He said, Chris, let me go on first, man. Let me go on first, man, before you do that, man. Let me go on first, man. I was like, yo, and Cat went on. He did right. his thing. Then PM Dawn went on. We just let him right. get through one song, and then right. we all jumped on the stage. Right. It's like, yo, let's battle. Let's right. get it popping right now. Right. So the whole crowd was like, oh, let's go. Right. But something happened. This man, somebody jumped out. It was like, fuck that. You know, was trying to do some shit. It was like, yo, fuck that. We here with all shooters, my nigga. Right, Why right. don't we fuck that? <laughs> right, right. Threw them niggas off the stage. That's right. what it was. Right. Fuck Let's that, no. Sorry to tell you. Yo, there's nothing, yo. yo. Listen, Troy Ave just um, did that to I Love McCann in New York. <laughs> In New York, this is a fact. I love, I, 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 I got love for I love my cannon. I got love for Troy Ave. But when it happened, it immediately. I didn't I said, hear about this. Oh, I'm yeah, oh. now you are. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I'm a, I immediately when I synced it, I said, "This is." I, I don't even think Troy Ave know that this originated from that very moment. Wow. Like if you disrespect and you come to the person town, no you doubt. are liable to go off go the stage. Go off the stage. And drinks is liable to throw at you, and That's you right. are allowed to feel uncomfortable. That's right. But you started that trend, and I applaud you for wow. that, sir. Come wow. on, one more time. Everybody, make some fucking noise. Wow. But being, oh. that, being that we're on the topic of, of uh, self-destruction, uh-huh. stop the violence, mm. one thing that I've always wondered, why do you think that we haven't been able to recreate those movements in hip-hop? Because when mm. that came out, and um, we're all in the same gang came out. Those right. records, they were cool to the youth at the time. Yes, it we, we loved those records. We knew the lyrics. No, but see the people. And I know you've been doing, you've done, you've continued to no, do those records, but no they doubt. haven't touched the pulse of the youth anymore. Nah, hip hop is not conscious. Mm. Okay, like people got to understand that hip hop, it, it's raw essence. That shit is gutter ghetto. Hip hop is ignorant. Right. Okay, that shit is. I'm the at its core. At its core. At its core, that right. shit is raw ignorance, man. Just straight right. up. But all the best things come out of that shit. Right. Okay. The darkness. That's where the best shit comes from. Out of this shit. Look, it takes feces to make things grow. Mm. All we eating is shit. Manure. You know it's what I'm the saying? Most Manure. Honest. This is, it's the most honest. So that's why I say go back to the movement. When we did those records, stop the violence. Uh, and self-destruction. Look at the dudes that were doing them. Those were street, street dudes. dudes. Yeah, that's why we love okay, them. Okay, that's why, right. But now we, all them dudes got shot up and went to jail. 
Right. <laughs> no, nobody, there's no one else, like, maybe some younger kids today, or maybe some of the younger artists today, if they care about their community, when we were coming up with gangs and, excuse me, and crews and stuff like that, we, we cared about the community still. Like, mm -hmm. we would still smack a young kid up and be like, yo, you better go to school, motherfucker. I know your moms, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. You would still get gangs like that. Today, it's too individualistic. Right. Mm -hmm. Even dudes who are real gangsters, they not really in the hood. They do, they gangster on the phone. They, they pushing their thing through yeah. on Twitter? different mediums. <laughs> now, we didn't have none of this shit when we was Yo, coming up. I'm sorry to cut you off, but you know what the crazy shit is? I just thought about it. Like, you know, hip-hop, we got our own little version of Chitlin Circuit, you know, right? Yeah. Right. Like, right? Like, where you go. So back right. then, in the 90s, I'll say 97, 98, I had to go to Virginia. I had to go to North Carolina. And when the dude told me, yo, I run the block, I had a choice. It was 15 seconds, not 15 seconds on the internet. But it's mm. 15 seconds that I had to say, I believe him or I fucking right. don't. right. We didn't have Instagram. Like right now, right. dude would be like, yo, I run the town. Check my Instagram. You couldn't hood check them. Like that, <laughs> that, that shit don't fucking register with me. You but you know what I'm saying? Because they'll have a, a picture with like, you know, whoever's the popular, popular people at the time. Right. But back right. then, in the 90s, I had to go to a town and I had to make a decision in 15 seconds when a dude caught me in Foot Locker and said, right. yo, Nori, I run the town. Fuck with me. Right. And I had to study go his mannerism. You, you right. You had to know. I had to do... I, Oh, and sometimes these guys lying. Mm -hmm. They're good, but a lot of the times they're official. Right. You don't have time to go look at. Right. And nowadays, you can't Google them. <laughs> when I go to a town now, they be like, "Yo, go get with such and such," and I gotta look at this guy's Instagram. But it was realer, and and your generation was before yeah, mine. Yeah. So how was that? Like just traveling the U.S. back then? You had to know people, man. Right, you had see? to really know. Like see? what you just said right there brought me back right. to like, okay, tell you a story. Right. Ice-T, okay? Mm. This is way back. Uh, Big up Ice-T coming on the show as well. Shout yeah. out to Ice-T and Coco. Mm. Yep. This goes back to Darlene. Mm. Okay. So this is his first wife. This is first on, wife. That was on the cover. On the cover on the of Power. Okay. I think the Power I'm a hip-hop nigga. I yeah. just wanted to let okay. people know that. I know that. Ice-T, this is the realest dude ever, okay? Right. I don't yes. know what y'all know about TV. <laughs> no, this and, nigga. Nah, and him, yeah. I don't know no. what that shit is, okay? <laughs> but in the 80s, right. Rhyme Syndicate in right. L.A.? Woo. Okay, <laughs> you had to know these dudes, or you wasn't playing. Oh, so you saying you couldn't even go to you LA? You couldn't even play. You couldn't even play. Right. They, today, you could book shows. You know, Live Nation will book you. Right. You know, yeah, it's yeah, all yeah. good. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's corporate. Right, right, this right, shit right. is all good. Right. No, back then, it was right. only dudes that were hustling that was booking rappers. Mm. So it was like, you know, and, 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 and it wasn't never no shit. It was, not, it was actually the time we all was having a good time. Wow. It's like we left all the guns, all the, all the, the product and shit. Leave that shit down. Right. Let's just go to Latin quarters and have a good fucking time. Latin quarters. Let's just go down to, to, to you know, the rooftop or, or Fever. whatever, Fever or whatever. Mm -hmm. Everybody just was like that. Everybody left their shit in the car. If there was any beef mm -hmm. in the club, mm -hmm. you'd see dudes running outside to their ride. Right. And that's the shit would pop off in the, in the parking lot. Right. But we had to know people. You couldn't just be a rapper. There were so many rappers that were dope on right. the mic and even had hit records, but they couldn't tour. Right. They couldn't travel, you know, because back then people were still getting robbed for their chain. Just the mm. idea of wearing a gold chain no, they in still the club. still robbed for their chain. Well, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> yes. you know, but look. I tell you it's this. It's on YouTube though now. And now it's, on, it's, it's, for, it's, it's for YouTube. <laughs> it's for YouTube it's, now. You know, MC Search, um, mm. you know. Far it, Rockaway Queen. Far Rock, uh, third base. Third base. Third These base. were the only white dudes ever, mm. ever, <laughs> to walk in Latin quarters with big gold now, on. Now, Latin quarters, where was the original the Latin quarters? Because I went to Latin 48 quarters. 48th Street and Broadway. On 96th and Broadway. No, no. So no, the no, original no. Latin quarters was on. 48th Street and Broadway. You see, you learn Across the new street every from day. Popeye's Chicken. We used wow, to eat wow. that bullshit and go across the street and, and go tear crazy. that shit down. 
nothing but hustlers in there. Nothing but, and if your rhymes was whack, you did not make it out. Oh, like you right. without insults or niggas scheming on you or right. like you had to have security walk you out. Like you, right. you know what I'm saying? And I took pride in that shit. I was like, fuck y'all niggas, man. I'm <laughs> right, getting right. this shit in right, right now. Right. And they just loved, they loved my whole shit. And the, the point was, was that we were spitting conscious shit. We called it reality rap. Yo, man, fuck these, these cops, this court, the shit we were going through. Fuck the DA. These, right. these motherfuckers are corrupt. Let's talk about the government. That shit became conscious rap all of a sudden. In the right. 90s, the title switched. Right. And now all of a sudden, we were supposed to play this role of being conscious rappers who didn't fight or argue. And, right. This shit, and it was like I never rested. I wrestled. I, I I never settled this in my own career. You know me. I consider myself a god man, straight up. I'm all about peace. But this world, the minute you say you standing up for justice and wisdom, these dudes want to try to see you. And I love shit like that. I'm like right. I'm God's like worst. I'm sent here to make you think. Like, yo, that's that, yo, we can get that dude right there. I'm like, mm-hmm. No, yeah, it's a beautiful thing that you <laughs> like, ever did. And shit changes in the dark. Right. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, come on, follow me down here. Yeah, man, see the skirt? I'm wearing the skirt. Come on down here, come on. So get here's down where I want to go. <laughs> here's where I want to go, Kara. How did You're the taking beef, me back. How did the beef yo. start with Shan originally? Oh, man. Was it the record or was it something on the side? I have to know this for my own, because you're my favorite rapper. I don't know if you know that. We wanted to be down but, with the but juice. But I hated crew. you when you did the bridge is over. <laughs> you had 50. <laughs> I just got to be clear with you. Yo, 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 let me tell you something. You made yo. any, any killers and queens, you made them. Because I'm going to just tell you. Wow. Because you said we didn't That's hear. That's a horrible thing to tell you. That's, a hor- <laughs> That's horrible. It's, it's, a great, it's a great horrible thing. Because you know why? We had, on Rikers Island at that time, was the toughest place. I mean, it was the yeah. hardcore place to go. And if you was from Queens, you would just walk by and people would be like, Queens, right? And I don't know if you know if you started this, but you said, I didn't hear a peak from a place called Queens. And we had to fight every East New York nigga, every Bronx nigga, for niggas to be like, Queens niggas is official. No doubt. Like, no doubt. He just took out Shan. He God didn't. Uh, damn. damn, I worded that wrong. And she Shan, don't, don't, don't blow me up. <laughs> Listen, I'm just, I'm just being honest. No doubt. And at that time, you changed the face of hip hop because you single handedly. So, so I need to know how did this start? Was it beef with Marley? Was it beef with Shan? Was it his? Whack Puma sneaker? Mm. <laughs> what was it, Chris? To make you go off like that. Yo. Because, first off, we <laughs> in Queens didn't know there was a South Bronx. <laughs> we didn't know it was a North Bronx. I it was just we just thought it was the Bronx. <laughs> so, when, all right, so I need to know this. This is for my own history. How did this start? How did first this start? of all, okay. Rest in peace to Mr. Magic. Let uh, me start rest right there. Rest in peace there. to Mr. Magic. Okay. You don't care up. what the weed smoke, right? No, nah, come That's on, right. man. Come on, respect. Um, rest in peace to Mr. Magic, okay? Straight up. Now, that's who started it. He started it. Let's be up Mr. Magic for starting it. Mr. Magic, no doubt. He lives forever. Rest in peace, Magic. Rest in peace, Magic. We wanted to be down with the Juice Crew. Let's start right there. So, and this is Marley Marl. This is Magic. Okay. Magic and Molly. Magic was the first of all. There was another Juice Crew before Magic. So let's name the original Juice. The original Juice Crew. I was first. Of all, I don't know all of them. I think um, okay. it was Melly Mel, Chaz. Get the fuck out of yeah, here. this is Juice That's Crew. A super the, old school. This is original. I don't know this. I don't know this Juice at all. Crew out of Disco Fever. They oh, were the original shit. Juice Crew. Oh. Magic was part of that crew. Okay. Okay. So he kind of took the name, and the second generation came up, which was us, mm-hmm. and so. He named his crew the Juice Crew. Mm. But he is the only one with the ring. There was rings. It was like Wait, 13 was rings. rings that were given out for this oh, Juice man. Crew. We got to so bring rings back. So he was one of these, he was one of these dudes rings. with the ring. <laughs> so he named the thing Juice Crew with his man Fly Ty as well. Ty was, was big, you know, with uh, promotion and, and marketing. 
So the idea was battles were huge on the street anyway. Mm. If you was an MC, you was always battling your man. You was always in a cypher spitting some shit. Right. So that's what it was. But none of that was ever reflected in, in mainstream media and rap, whatever. Run DMC, they was crushing shit. Right. But they were still, you know, rapping. Um, they were still like performers. Right. You know, they, it never was really what it was on the street level. So... We went to Magic. We wanted to be part of the Juice Crew. We, we wanted to be produced by Molly Mall, right. okay? But Magic was the Juice Crew. He's the one that put everybody down. Right. So Roxanne Shantae just came off of a battle with UTFO. Right. Nice battle. All these Roxannes came out of that battle. Let me bring up Roxanne Shantae, little sister, fast team while I went to school with her. Wow. <laughs> Continue. Roxanne Shantae, she came out. UTFO, nice battle. So MC Shan came out. And dissed LL, called him a beat biter because beat. the word on the street was that LL uh, bit his style. The Kango, the wow. Ditas, the, the Pumas, LL, wow. the, the tracksuit. And in wow. a way, he looked just like LL from the early days. If you wow. look at er, early LL, it, it, it was some kind of similarity. So LL was mad about that, I guess, and uh, started going after. I'm, not LL, I'm sorry, Shan was mad at that mm -hmm. and started going after LL. LL never answered him. Mm -hmm. Um. But I did, uh, because Magic took our demo, so the story goes, an engineer told us this. We handed in our, our record, it was two records, Criminal Minded and Elementary. Oh, and a record called Advance, three records. We have got to advance, three records. We gave it to him. He said, Magic said, this is corny. No, we're not doing it. And supposedly flung it in the, in the garbage. But not in front of your face. No. Okay, good. This is an engineer telling us. First okay. of all, we couldn't even talk to Magic, okay? Because he was that we, He was that huge, okay? <laughs> he was the Security, man. he was the man, okay? We yeah. couldn't even see him. Uh, we I'm, handed I'm such a fan mode right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying you can't. <laughs> I'm in fan mode, go ahead. We handed dude the CD through somebody, through somebody, through somebody, and the right. word got back, yo, whack, get up out of here. Wow. So mind you, I'm homeless in the street. I'm riding the train back and forth, the D train. Scott LaRock is a social worker. At the shelter, I get to, you know, I, sometimes I'm at the shelter, sometimes I'm not. Me and Just Ice was in the shelter together. So wow. some nights we hang out all night, some nights we be there. But Scott had to go to work every day right. and work there at that shelter. So we got back and Scott was like, yo, they said it was whack, my G. I was like, yo, whack. Shan is whack. Right. How my shit, my shit ain't whack. What are you? Right. So I'm 20. Right. You know what I'm saying? 21, 20. Right. I'm cocky. I'm arrogant. I'm already known in the Bronx. I'm a graffiti writer, really, named KRS. And I'm writing on the six train and the five, the two and the fives. We hitting the bus yards, Fordham Road bus yards. So I'm already on my shit in a graffiti world. Right. And I was I write perfectly... graffiti also because of no. you. I'm just throwing it out there. I'm just saying. I was on my shit bombing buses and trains. And we were trying to get into the rap deal, hopefully to, to get some money and get out the hood. Right. They said you whack. So I wrote I was I wrote um the bridges over first. Wait. Before the South Bronx? Yeah, before the South Bronx, I wrote The Bridges Over. Because that was more my shit. <clears throat> I was on some reggae shit. Right. So I was like, yo, I used to listen to Shinehead, actually, was my Shine inspiration. Head. Shinehead. Uh, right. I used to listen to Shinehead, Michigan is Smiley, Yellow Man, Lieutenant Stitchy, Major Macro, Ninja Man. I just go right. on and on. Right. I used to blast all that. So he was like, see, what are you doing? This is, this is drink chat. What drink is this dude trying to do, man? You just got to roll with it. Okay, yeah. so... You just got to roll with it. I didn't know either. So yeah. it's like, so I'm listening to all that, but Scott was like, first of all, Scott started to get down in his spirit because he had already shopped our music to everybody, mm -hmm. and they all turned us down. They said it was too educated, too preachy. You, you don't sound like the rappers out here. Because we were talking about nuclear war, right. the government, this kind of thing. It was like, nah, rap don't need all I know that. about Illuminati because of you. Nah. I'm just... Uh, I'm just <laughs> but we were on that shit in 84. <laughs> okay? Yeah, I'm just telling you that. Okay. Anyway, so we was like, you know, nobody was going to sign us. No, no one wanted us. So right. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I wrote the bridges over. I said it to Scott. Scott was like, nah, man, because nobody's going to... 
gonna play that reggae shit. Nobody wanna hear that shit. They wanna hear like Run DMC and this. So you're telling me the bridge is over was wrote before Shan actually dropped the bridge, or was no. the bridge out? No, the bridge was out. All right, cause then I and me. I wrote the bridge is over. All right, so <laughs> now let me just tell you, this is where you also crushed my dreams as a child. <laughs> Damn. When Shan as I said, reached for this hip hop started out in the dark. <laughs> I thought he was telling the truth. <laughs> I'm a child. All right. I was born in 1977, all right? What what year did Shan drop that record? That was like 86. 86. So technically, how old am I? Nine? Like 10? What? Nine years old? Nine? You're like nine. So I believed Shan. <laughs> as you should as a nine-year-old. <laughs> but I don't, but I've never been in the Bronx. But wait a minute. As, Here's the real of it. Okay, go ahead. We both were wrong. Okay, uh, wait, wait. Me and you or me, you and Shan? Me and Shan. Okay, tell them. Break he down. said, you love to hear the story again, again and again, again. Uh-huh. how it all got started way back when. The, the monument, monument is right, right in your, your face. face. Sit and listen, listen for a while to the name of the place. place. Mm. The Bridge. Okay. That caused the battle. That's what. That's Because you knew hip hop originated in the Oh, Bronx. Duh, I was okay. going to 123 Park watching Bam. Right. Okay. Uh, Okay. So now we, as 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 we go, so it's, it was that line that made you that's furious. What, yeah, well, no, it's magic said we was garbage that made us furious. Combined with that line. Well, that line was the excuse. But magic wasn't from Queensbridge. No. Magic is from. Magic. He's from Brooklyn, I think. From Brooklyn. Okay. I think magic from the Brooklyn. Story. No, so but 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 you hear this record, yes, MC Shan, yes. and it bothers you. Why? Yes. Tell well, me. first of all, Magic just dissed us and, and basically was harping on the fact that his number one MC was this dude right here, MC Shan. So being from the Bronx, hungry, broke, poor with nothing, we said, you know what? That's food right there. Let's go get him. This is crazy. And so <laughs> this is crazy. food right there. We said, yo, we wrote up. I wrote the bridges over first. Scott didn't like it. He said, no, nobody's listening to no reggae shit. If you really want to go at dude, come with some shit. So the original bridge is over. Was a reggae. Yeah. Wow, okay. Yeah, it was Super Cat. Boops. Boom, boom, yeah. boom, 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 boom. Big up the Super Cat for that. Right, Super Cat. Super Cat lived in Left Rack for a little while. No so, doubt. That's my Super nigga. Cat. So that, that was, I was all in the Super Cat right there. And, I, and he had a record called Say Boops, Dan. Say Go on and hug him up. Uh. Hey, Say Boops, Dan. Boom, 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 boom. I was like, yes. Put that to some boom bap. The same shit we used to do. In the in the in the shelter, we used to hit so the Scott bathroom didn't wall. Like the reggae version. He didn't like that shit. So then what happened? You went back and he put on this record that goes, "Hey, bro, I got that good cheaper cheaper." <laughs> boom, eh, boom, eh, boom, eh, boom. We gotta boom. find Hey, this bro, I got that good cheaper cheaper. You have to keep uh-huh. cutting that part mm-hmm. out. So Scott's cutting that shit. And I was like, way back in the days when hip hop began with Coke, La Rock, Cool Herc, and then Bam. People, mm-hmm. the Scott was like, oh, yo. You need to come with that. Next, like, three days later, he got his check. Right. We went to the studio. It was $50, right. $25 an hour, and you get an acetate mm-hmm. at the end. So it was a bargain. Like, the acetate was $25. Mm-hmm. But they said $25 and the acetate, mm-hmm. two-hour minimum. We spent $50. We made a four-track. We did South Bronx and the Piers Free. The same day, two hours, Wait, one day. Wait, you did take. the bridges over no, South? No, no, no. South Bronx. Okay. And the P is free. The original with D-Nice on the beatbox. Pussy box. is free. Yeah. Yeah. Pussy got ghost money. Oh, oh, you got a dub God. plate out of that, you see. And, and we got, got the dub a dub plate out of yeah. it. So wow. we took that down to Latin Quarters. Right. And Raul was playing. Red Alert wasn't even on yet. There's a dude named Raul that was Let's there. Let's up Raul that is sidebar owner, right? Raul's my homie. Raul's the but homie. Shout out to Sidebar. Shout here. out to Sidebar. Um, no and what's the, all the people? Is this here? Mingo. Jason. 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 I, cause I stopped. So, <laughs> so, just, just, no, 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 no. Because <laughs> I just figured Raul. So continue this story. We gave him the, we gave him the acetate. We gave him the, mm, the dub plate. The dub plate. He put the shit on. The, from the second that shit came on. The bridge is over. No, the South Bronx. Oh, the South yeah. Bronx. It said, this is South after Bronx. the Queensbridge. 
Queensbridge. It's after Queensbridge. Okay. Queensbridge is a huge hit record. Right. Should play on the radio every day. Right. Throw the shit wow. on the club. Dudes is up. We, 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 we. We, we were very proud Damn of Queens. shit was hot. <laughs> How long did we have? How long did we have? How long in Queens were we... <laughs> Come it on, it was about a month. It was about a month. We only had a month. Yeah, like a month. Yeah. That shit was not like maybe two months. months. I, maybe two you're, months. You're gonna take an L for an epic battle. Maybe two months. I thought we had six months. No, no, no. 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 That, that record was right out. Can you give, right us, out. Can you give us two months? Even if it was like two, two months. It was on the radio. Right. It was like one month. The shit was heat. It was in the club already. And then kill that noise, right? And back then, no, no. Then he came back. No, then Shan came back. No, 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 no. Let's not skip. Okay. So we only had a month right. where it was okay yes. to yes. be from Queensbridge, yes. Left Frack, 40 yes. Projects, yes. and then... No, wait a minute. Rephrase the question. No, you right. guys had like three, four years. Because I'm from years. Left Frack. You had like three, four years. Oh, yeah. Because, with Sh- see, when, when Run DMC came out yeah. and LL and then right. Shantae... And you was cool with them. I'm cool with all of that. So why did you and Shantae... Well, wait a minute. No. Okay. Lyrically, I wasn't. Oh, you I got it with me. Lyrically, I wasn't. See, I, I this like was a think. time. This was a time where you had to prove. R- Run DMC said an amazing lyric. Mm-hmm. I think it was DMC. Mm-hmm. He said, "Other rappers can't stand us, but give us respect." Mm. That sums up the whole '80s with so them. You, do you feel like Run DMC was like a pop group to you back then? No, no, no. It was nothing pop about okay. Run DMC. No, okay. don't know. Fuckers right. was Stray Hood. Okay, All Jam right. Master J. Okay, okay. Right. okay. Right. <laughs> okay. Right. Jay right. was hood hood. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. Now Run and D, they were straight hood as well. They came from different other parts of Queens. Right, right. But Queens, the whole of Queens right. is hood. Right. Okay, so it was like Run DMC was just kings. Like they, they was just it. And and you always took a shot at those who was at on the, the top. top. Yeah. Right. If you was the little guy on the bottom, the, the, mm. that's what it was. It was like, even um, Roxanne Shantae had a line where, uh, I met Run and I met D, MC, and I said, so? Wow. And it was like one of her dopest, like one of her lines that she had put in. But right. that was the attitude, like, you ain't large. You, you ain't, you know, even though you are and you the man. But let me ask you this question. When he said hip hop started out in the dark, was, mm-hmm. was, was that something that directly bothered you because you knew the truth? The, scholarly, yes. But okay. I didn't know the truth. I thought I knew the truth. Mm. See, this is young arrogance. Okay. I'm hanging out in the Bronx. Right. <clears throat> North Bronx, South Bronx, East, West Bronx. I'm right. the whole Bronx. Gun right. Hill Road right. to Millbrook Projects. Right. Okay? Whole Bronx. First of all, I'm, right. I'm a graph writer. Right. So I walked the entire Bronx. Just My name wow. is Bombing up. everywhere. Okay? Wow. I'm the whole Bronx. Wow. Okay? So I'm running into parties, dudes. You know, we we know shit. This, and you didn't hear people from hear. a Facebook phone call, Queens. No, we did. We used to go to Queens. <laughs> Queens had the dopest parties. But but so you did hear people. No doubt. All right, come on, let's make some noise no for doubt. Queens. No doubt, there was a people. We, we revived. Come on, man. You just had to sit on them. No, right, Queens. Right, no, I get it. See Thank what you, it was. No, no. Let I, me tell my you. My childhood is back restored. Look, let me say this. Let <laughs> me right. say this. Yeah. My wife is from Queens. Okay, Saint Albans, Queens. No, no, no. I don't oh, think she's okay. here. No, that's the queen right oh, there. Oh, that's your wife. All right. Jasmine cool. in the building. Right. Are you nah, from nah. Queens? You just look like you're from Queens. <laughs> I was going to big you up. I'm sorry. Big up your wife, Jasmine. He's looking for Queens. Queens. No, I, I'm, I'm, Queens. I'm looking for my Queens. St. Albans. St. Albans, Queens. See, this is what I'm talking about, man. Niggas don't respect this part. The nigga don't matter a, a woman from Queens. <laughs> <laughs> Let's leave this. Because, listen, on the island, people used to be like, Queens? Like, you started something... So niggas from Queens at that Damn, time on I the did. island had to <laughs> spit out razors and buck fifties. No you might have originated buck fifties. Wow. I don't know if you knew that. No I don't know if you knew that, but no, buck fifties because niggas in Queens was, was, was like throwing everything on you. No, <laughs> and murders. Yeah, I, I do. I do mass. You don't care. This is, this is this is he's like my father. Like I mean, like so he, and you blame your father for everything. Don't we all? <laughs> yeah, don't we all? Yeah, don't we all? Yeah, but, yeah. So um, all right. So when you heard hip hop started out in the dark, you knew that, you knew that it didn't start. No, I knew Cool Herc existed. I knew Bam. I knew Flash right. existed. I didn't know them. Right. But their names were in the hood. Crazy. Right. So you knew Shan was front. Yeah. Basically. Well, I knew he didn't know. I don't even know if he was fronting. 
Right. It's mm-hmm. just that line. Because to was us in just, Queens, we actually that was thought real. that because right. we seen that. So go ahead. And he wrote about what he saw mm. from his perspective. Right. And so I put out the record South Bronx. Right. And and today it's it, to be scholarly correct, hip hop started in the West Bronx. Uh. It never started in the mm. South Bronx. See, that was my next question. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's, it's, it's the West Bronx. Cool Heart, 1520 Sedgwick Avenue, the Bronx. Hey. Okay, that's West Bronx. Mm. But we were so ghetto, ignorant, and gassed to get on a record. We South Bronx! South, South Bronx! Because that was one of my other Ted, questions. Y'all rewrote history books. Was, were people from the other part of the Bronx, were right. they still chair? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Everybody. North Bronx, East, right. West was all from the South because Bronx. Because even now, like when Biggie, you hear, you hear, yeah, Biggie or you hear um, Nas or That's somebody right. shout out the Bronx, they never say the Bronx, they say the South Bronx. Right. And I always wondered, with people right. from the other side, right. were they offended by that? Like nah. it's, it's like Biggie oh. shouted out um, on one record. Oh, when God bless the dead, obviously when Big was alive, he was like, yo, I shouted out Queensbridge. And I was like, I'm from Left Rack. <laughs> like, I don't really get that. Exactly like, right. you, you're not shouting out the whole Queens <clears throat> right. when you shout out Queensbridge. Queensbridge is a 96 building that you come over Manhattan, and that's just that section. But people that's right next door to it, Ravenswood, Astoria, they don't recognize Queensbridge. We understand what you mean. By sh- shouting out Queensbridge and thinking it's the whole Queens, but it's really not. So yeah. I always wondered, right. was that the opposite when you said South Bronx um, was people in the West Bronx? The Bronx took it differently because okay. the Bronx wasn't on the map. Mm. Brooklyn was on the map. No, Brooklyn's still on the map. Well, there it is. Brooklyn rules. You okay. could be in Dusseldorf, Germany, <laughs> and you say, yo, Brooklyn in the house, and Buster White, yo, you be like, yo, what the fuck? Yeah, so the, Brooklyn was the everywhere ruler, had that problem. Right. Okay, it just, right. there was nobody was there was a record called Go Brooklyn. I think that's a Sonic. Or yeah, it's still alive. Mighty Mike Master, Go somebody. Go Brooklyn. Go Brooklyn. Right. That was it. That that was the club anthem. That's what we did. That's what it was. So when I came with South Bronx, yeah, that's where I want to go. That's where it. The Bronx was on the map, and then I mentioned dudes that were. Heavy in the Bronx, you know, Nine Lives Crew, Cypress Boys, Real so, Rock. So steady. what you're telling me is, after you dropped the South Bronx, Shan dropped Kill That Noise. That's what yes. made you drop Bridges Over. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is terrible. We should never drop Kill never, That Noise. No, never. Kill That Noise was horrible. <laughs> First of all, I would have been over. It was horrible. This is, this is terrible. Well, well actually, you know what? No. I got no horse in that race. No, let me tell you, when Kill That Noise came out, it was a hit. Was it? It was a hit. First of all, that Holy beat. Shit. Think of the, the KC Sunshine Band beat. We don't was, believe you, Karen. That was crazy. No, I, we, Biggie we, even used it again. No way. He used it. The 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 don't 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 the don't 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 and don't 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 and don't don't don't. That 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 that, that, that was break. the KC and I, the I Sunshine Band. When he threw that That's on, it was hot. It was like, oh, oh. he came back. Mm. It wasn't it wasn't whack until the bridges over came out. Mm. I then take it from there. Then completely it, you, you, first off, you're hurting my feelings, but Damn. I need to know how this happened. Damn. I need to know, like, yo, because you're my favorite artist at the Damn. time. I'm a child. And you bro- you broke my dreams. Damn. Like, yeah. Ruined his <laughs> life. This is real shit. Yeah. This is real Made you a thug, murder people. <laughs> Yeah, it's because of Aaron, so all, all around the board. My whole life. It's all the murders. When it's good, it's because of him, and when wow. it's bad, it's because of him. He's my God. Are you so, getting all this? <laughs> so the bridge is, body. How did this session, how did, how did, how did it, because you said you originally recorded an original version. It was a reggae version. No, no, no. I never recorded it. Oh, just. I just said it in Scott's living room. And Scott said no. He said nah. Wow. And so you did the South Bronx. So I did the South Bronx. And then Kill That Noise came out, and then now... No, this- Scott got on the reggae when he heard the P is free. Uh, was, yeah. When I did mm-hmm. South Bronx and then the P is free on the other side, mm-hmm. you know, um, da 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 When we used to do that in the club, that was the rock. That that right. was the the record. So Scott was like, "What's up, this reggae shit?" Like, what? He started getting now into he's on it. it. Now <laughs> he was on it. Mm. But then Shan answered us with "Kill That Noise." If you knew what I knew, you'd kill that noise. Right. And the record was hot for its time. Mm. 
And so we was like, you know what? We got this joint right here. And Scott didn't even... So um, it was already recorded? No. It okay. was all my record. Scott never recorded the Bridges Over. Okay. He never even... Well, he came for the mix of the second one. Uh -huh. But when, when, um, when Shan put out his record, mm -hmm. I went back to said G from Ultra Magnetic, who, who, who was wow. doing our beats. <laughs> and he said... Actually, he was sampling. He, he, he had the SB12. So... Yeah. Uh, I asked him, yo, give me some drums. I'm going to go in the studio up the block from Latin Quarters. I found some little rinky-dink studio like two blocks up. Right. And I said, yo, Shan came out with this joint. I'm coming back. Went in there, and I produced the whole record. I took Seji's drums. Boom, boom, bap, bap, boom, bap, boom, Ooh. boom, bap. That's the same beat we did on the bathroom wall in the shelter. Mm. Boom, boom, bap, bap. Boom, bam, and dudes used to just get it in. That was just a standard beat. Mm -hmm. So we did that, put the super cat to it. Boom, 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 boom. I played the piano, one take, one time. You listen to the instrumental, that's the sloppiest playing ever. As errors, mistakes, all type of shit, but no one heard all that. Mm -hmm. Put my lyric down, the bridge is over. I did that shit strictly for Brooklyn, straight yeah. up. Bronx, right. South Bronx, that was straight up Gun Hill Road. Right. Straight up Westchester, Grand Jerome, Concourse. Grand Concourse. That Gerard. was straight that. This right. one, we say, yo, this is what Brooklyn is on right now. And nobody knows it. Nobody, nobody goes to the jams like, well, actually what is called the dance hall, the right. dance hall. They, they don't right. go to that. We, be, we was up in there with Stone Love and GT International and right. all of that. So when he was talking about battle, he was like, yo, we gonna battle the way they do in Jamaica. We gonna spin the racket back. Right. He's up, gunshot. Right. We go, and Americans never heard. They, they was like, what the fuck? Right. The bridge is over. What a bye bye. They didn't know what the fuck Still that hurts, was. Yeah, it was like, yo, hurts. it was it's it's a sound what it was. clash. It was now, a what, sound, that's even, what it was called. Sound clash. I'm not sound even clash. from the bridge. I'm just from Queens, but it still hurts, Garrett. Damn. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to take a moment of silence. Take that moment. Let's drink so, to that. Let's so drink what? That yeah, let's drink, let's drink that off. Let's drink that off. No, 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 I just can't make no, no noise. No, no, it's not cheers. I can't <laughs> cheer it. It's a, it's a sad moment. It's we should be pouring it out. We should be so, pouring it out. So why did, why did you even respond to Shan? This uh, Shan, time? Shan, Shan, listen, let me just say, Shan is still a godfather. No doubt. Of Queensbridge, of Queens, he's still a, a, a forefather. But this time, why did you respond? Like, Shan is the reason KRS One has a career. Damn. This okay. Is that's, that's, this is Shan wrong. is Let's the. Let's make some noise for that, man. <laughs> for recognizing, in my opinion, the greatest battle on record. No doubt. On record, to me, it was the greatest battle because. It affected, like it changed people's lives. Like right now, when I see people battle, it don't change people's lives. We just laugh at them, and mm. you know. But this, like Queens, had to prove ourselves. No doubt. Like we had to, like, you know what I mean. Like South Bronx was 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 was, was the position where y'all had to dig out the rubble. Like, was, was it, cause, like, <laughs> Straight up, wow. I got I got I'm, I'm an outsider, yes. so I can say that. But I gotta yeah. go with what, what he said. It's like Brooklyn has always been recognized. I I can right. remember back. In uh, 97, right. I used to go to Atlanta and be like, yo, is, is Atlanta in the house? And nobody from Atlanta would never, you know, say anything. And when I said, New York in the house, people go crazy. And I would say, Brooklyn, it would be always my first choice. Brooklyn, and, and, and these people would go crazy. That's the issue we all had. And then I would, see them, I would see them backstage and be like, you from Brooklyn? Where we at? They'll be like Queens Boulevard. I'll Making be like, God places. damn it. Yep. This motherfucker's a lying motherfucker. But you changed the game from that. And so Shan responded to you recently. Yeah. Why? Why? Did he start that or you started that? He started it. Yeah, he just I, yeah. He, he did an interview. Well, no, 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 no. Okay. no, 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 no. No, no, he did a record. It, it, no, no, he did it. Well, wait. No, he didn't do a record. No, he did, he did, um, he did, uh, uh, wait, wait, let me go back just for the record. Mm -hmm. I was battling some other dude in Pittsburgh. Recent? Uh, yeah, maybe okay. three ago. months you ago. You still battling niggas, right? Oh, no, no, dude, yo, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm <laughs> crushing you. Chill out, Chris. Yeah, yo, 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 you're straight. I come out to the supermarket, dudes be like, yo, Chris, I want to battle. I be having eggs and bread in my fucking hand and shit. 
Nah, nah. Said, oh, it's real. <laughs> I'm telling you, yo, it's be on. But right. like, I give the young kids a run for their money, you man. Still you still know, got it. In no, you don't like they that gotta test real? somebody. All right. All right. All right. The young shooters gotta but know nobody somebody. Nobody wanna really test you. Nah, the young man. kids don't know my history, so don't tell them. <laughs> right. Don't tell them. Let right, me right. let me spank that ass right, real right, quick. Right, right, right. But right. but they but 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 the point is is that I was battling some other. Some dude jumped on stage. He was dissing. He was dressed like LL, holding LL's album, oh, holding I, I, I saw that online. Yeah. album. Uh-huh. And I, I was freestyling. I said some whack shit about LL. I apologize for that because LL right. is, is up here. Right. You know, he's even before me. You know what I'm saying? There's no disrespect there. Right. But I was battling, and the battle is ferocious. Moment, and he was yeah. like, yeah. he held up LL's album. I was like, bang, bang, bang. So you're telling me some kid just jumped on stage and yeah. asked to mm-hmm. battle you? Yeah, well, just, oh, he, just he, he jumped on. It. He jumped on, so I gave him a shot. Why? What sure. you got? What? He spit his shit. It was corny. Right. Right. And so I started going Now, in. where you was at? Where was this at? Pittsburgh. Okay, oh, you did say that. I'm sorry. This is Pittsburgh. Okay. So in that, he put up Shan's album. And right. I said, we took Shan out already. What you right. holding this album up for? Right. Shan heard that right. and said, fuck him. I, he ain't never took me out. Right. This, that, and the other. Do, do you agree with his theory? His theory is that y'all should have been in front of each other, like how the battle rappers do now. Do you agree with that theory? Or? Yeah. He just never showed up. <laughs> Dude, it's 30 years. It's 30 years. Dude, I've done festivals. I've been all up and down Queens. Right, right, right. Jamaica Ave. That's like, a big card. That's a big times. fat card right okay? there. Okay? Right. All in Queensbridge. Right, 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 all on right, Queens no, block. There's right. no excuse. Right, right, right. Outdoor festivals. Come on, Summer Jam. Right. It's 30 years. And now he wants to do it. Face to face. That would be the end of his shit. If you ever want to see a motherfucker, <laughs> oh that shit will be destructive. Oh. I don't know what he's asking for, right. but I, you know, I eat off this shit, man. Right. I, this is my shit right here. You, you know, still have it in you. Like, oh you no, see, God. he's about to battle even... you right now. No, 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 no. I'm not battling. Okay, right. I'm gonna shoot somebody for him. Like, <laughs> I'm a DJ for somebody. Yeah, somebody. yeah, yeah, somebody. <laughs> so you really went in the studio and recorded a new record. Well, he came out. With something he did a he did a he did an a, interview a, an interview and he oh. said some rhymes on the interview mm. that he's coming at me. So where right. I'm from, you don't just say that's like pulling your gun right. and not shooting. Right. Like what you gonna pull your shit out? I'm blasting you. That's right. it. That's I'm not what. Right. That's the end of it. So he said his little piece. So right. I put a piece out. <laughs> just so so what, what did he exactly say? He like um, freestyled a cappella. Yeah, but it sounded like it was written though. Right. It, it right. had no heart to it, like a real right. freestyle. He was mm. reading some shit. Mm. And and he read some shit off. And you still and, have that in you. And I just said, oh, 30- fuck yeah. I'm going to Atlanta. <laughs> right. I'm going to Atlanta. That's what, what dude is at. Oh, that's what Shan is Yeah, Shan work, is, Shan work at a place called Club Babes in Atlanta. Mm. Okay, I'm going there. Word. Okay, oh that, that's why I'm I don't know going. what I just started. <laughs> no, I don't know what I just did. That's what we no more bodies. I'm like, nah, weed. I'm like, come weed. on. No, no, no. So you want to see it? Let's get it popping. <laughs> so you would be willing. Yo, drink to... champs. I think this is an opportunity for us, right? No, 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 no. no. I don't want it to do with this battle. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see it online. Loyal to, <laughs> loyal to Queens. Back? I'm loyal to Queens, man. Listen, I don't really want to see this battle happen. <laughs> can, can, can you, is there any way we can chill? You out or no? That's nah, like, nah, it's no, no, no. What, 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 what nah. did he say that ignited you to want to go? It's at him not again? what is being said. It's so. It's the audacity right. to even think that after thirty years, you you got something for me. You right. you are crazy. You right. obviously want more hits on on your shit or right. whatever it is. I, let me give them to you. Let me give right. them to you. Let let me blink you up because again, let me also say this. If Shan never answered me, I would not have a career. Mm. Okay. Now you're saying from the South Bronx. From the South Bronx. Right. Okay, that Wait, record could have been a one noise. hit. Like, right. if South Bronx came out, we would have had one hit. Okay, we yes. had no other shot. Shan answered would kill that noise, and then he, never, he didn't have to. Right. So we came back with the bridges over, and that's when we was able to follow up with Criminal Minded. We had four songs on the market. Now, Shan is the reason I exist, so the least I could do is bust his ass. Right. <laughs> Show him that love That's back. the least I could right. do. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? Show him that love <laughs> that back. Nice of you. And hopefully, I say, yo, somebody should write for Shan. See, back to your first question. Right. Uh, this is <laughs> full okay. circle right here. Back to the first Karis one. Now, see, smart. 
If someone wrote for Shan, I would not be mad at all. Fuck yeah. that, man. Save that nigga, man. Please. So you kept saying to him, you told you told him his name is Nas spelled backwards. No Shit. doubt. It is. <laughs> Your foul dude. That was that, He's that the opposite. Yo, yo, let me big up my nigga Nas real quick. Let no, me show no. him about Nas. This okay? makes him foul. Because look, you said, look, he's, wait a he's minute. A master at what he's wait a minute, doing. wait a minute. Look at this, man. Wait a minute. Queensbridge was done until yeah. Illmatic came out. Okay, just for the history, okay? Mm. Queensbridge was done. Criminal Minded was was the shit on that shit. That was it, okay? Right. I think Illmatic was better than Criminal Minded. That's my opinion. Um, um, Me being a Queens kid, I could understand where you're coming from, but me living in that era, I got to say criminal minded. If it wasn't a criminal minded, it wouldn't be an ill matter. Right, we could right, say that. Right. No doubt. No doubt. We could so, say that. So, yeah. We could say I'm that. I'm a real hip hop kid. No, 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 no. We try to hit me with a journalist question. No, no, no. I'm sorry, Kara. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I had to hit you with a real nigga no, shit. No, you're totally real with it. You know what I mean? Because you influence Nas too. But you know what? You know what you are starting right now? Right. Whoever's listening to us right now, go and listen to both albums right now. Back to back. Back to back. Listen to the whole criminal minded and listen to the whole illmatic. I did that this morning. That's the crazy <laughs> shit. Yo, listen, listen, listen. You know, that's Criminal Mind is one of my favorite albums. I just it's two records I can't really listen to. But I listen to them. Damn. But I, this morning I just woke up and I was like, I wanted to listen to Illmatic. I don't know why. And I just listened to it. And then I listen to Criminal. Oh, look, look, another mic guy. <laughs> if you want to switch the champagne, you can switch the champagne. Nah, nah, yeah, right. Yo, so um, so I understand what you're saying, but right. me living in that era, that's um, I can 100 percent tell you Nas would answer the question the same way. He'd be like, if it wasn't for a criminal minded, he wouldn't know because you made us step our game up. You know no what doubt, I mean? But you that made... game, but that game got stepped up to the point where hip hop changed. No, like, but you changed hip hop too, just in case, because you I know you're no a doubt. legend and you humble. But you changed hip hop. Mm. You you was the first person. You was you was our Malcolm X. Mm. Let me break that down to you. Okay. Is because hip hop had took a like the PM Dawns and it had took a, 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 a hey we're cool approach. But we wanted to keep that attitude. But we also wanted to learn something, and that's right. the position you fulfilled. Okay. That's why you, that's why you. Your name as a teacher would never be tested no at all. No one could ever say he's not a teacher because right. you taught us. No doubt. The Wu Tangs, the Mob Deeps, the Capone and Noriegas, the Nazis. So I, I can't agree with your statement. Mm. I know your statement is humble, saying that Illmatic is better, but I had think it, not it is beat for beat. Rhyme no, for but that's not how. That, but, that's not that's not how that wouldn't history, be another. But that's not how history happens. No, I understand because that. Because how history happens is they say, no doubt. you know, this happened in order for this Without to be one, better. I, no I other. hear that. So that's I, wait, 100%. I was coming from a different perspective. No, but you're we coming from a humble Shen. perspective. We talk about Shan, no. Yeah, you're a great guy. We talk you're about a great guy. <laughs> we understand where you're well, coming from. Well, wait a from. minute, wait a right. minute. How else was Queensbridge supposed to come back? No, but if Nas so now put, let's add, let's now, now now let's answer Shan's question because I okay. listened to the interview. Okay, Shan is also a guard to me. No doubt. He said that Molly told him not to respond. What do you think of that? That's that, pussy. Oh, damn. That's that's pussy. Fuck that. God damn it. it was right. Him I wanted him to say Fuck something. Fuck that. That shit's pussy shit. We got KRS. <laughs> you a grown <laughs> ass man. Oh my man. God. We got KRS. We got KRS. Oh my God! Nah, that's pussy. Oh shit. my God! How the I, fuck a listen. grown ass man gonna tell you not to respond? We eating your ass right now, nigga. You somebody gonna say, Nah, nigga, don't respond and shit. <laughs> right. Oh man, this, this is real for me. This is so surreal. I don't even know where to go with it. Come on, nah, well, yeah, how about if, if we're gonna wrap this up before no, no, we no. before yeah, I gotta we get out of here, man. Yeah, yeah. Before, yeah. before we wrap this up, I'm the only right. Miami representative here right now. Yes. So it wouldn't be right for you to walk away right. without me to represent my generation of Miami hip hop no culture. No doubt. And when you recorded with Mother Superior, yes, this album didn't really see the light. For of the day. lamest, this is your usually line. What's Mother Superior? Mother Superior is this. Dope MC that came out of Miami in the mid '90s, early mid '90s. Okay, and she was spearheading our movement. I mean, there was those funky bastards. There was Society, right. uh, Home Team. There was there was we had a bubbling movement. 
that was parallel to the bass movement. Mm-hmm. Bass, no doubt, is a part of our Miami culture. Mm. But we had we had a hip hop, and the way you guys were talking about how everybody was talking about the Brooklyn, the Bronx, or whatever right. in the clubs, we had that problem here. Mm. So what we're trying to do is build our own identity. He, he did a record with Mother Superior. So she did this album. She got signed to Island Music. Mm. That's right. She, she, you know, strictly off of underground radio. Mm-hmm. She did a song called Rock Bottom, mm-hmm. which was totally representative of Miami. Mm. And then he did a record with her, maybe a couple. But this one record, I put on one of my mixtapes, but her album never came out. It got shelved. Mm. And he said, where you at, where you at? Miami's on the map. I don't know if you remember that hook. And that, he remembers everything. That made, oh, you know, that that made that the shit. world of difference that was that for shit. a Miami hip-hop kid. And I just I, you couldn't leave without me telling you that because it made the world of difference for all of us out here. Let's make some I noise for that. that. I felt that. Let's make some noise. Yeah. And shout and out now, to Mother Superior, too. Shout out too. to Mother Superior. She was, uh, she was hot, man, when, she, when she was coming and all up. The Brimstone, yeah, yeah. word. Now, I, Pito I, I need Gato, to ask Lord one, of one question. Where was your mind at when you made the sound of the police? I was sick of these pigs, man, shooting us down in the street. And it's still going on. And it's still, still Well, it was going on since we got here. So what was the sound of, what, what year was that, technically? 95. Damn, and, it's, and what, what year are we at now? 2016. That's, that's all 20 years, 21 years. And you made that record then. Yeah. And it's still going on now. Still to this day. Lil' N.W.A., man. Fuck the police. Yeah. What, was, what year was Fuck the Police? Man? That was uh, 89. 80, 80, 80, 80. Yeah. 89. And see, this is the thing is, when people say, you know, black people are overdoing it. We have documents, records that says. Oh, no doubt. That these people was doing it. So I just like to say, what was the mind state? You woke this in the South Bronx? Well, keep in mind that, wow, I don't even know how to say this, but Mm -hmm. um, in the Bronx, uh, if you was really successful with your hustle in the hood, the cops was your friends. Mm. It was Larry Davis days. Yeah, they were. Larry Davis was right on our block. Right. Like Webster Project. He was up the block from Webster Project. Mm. That whole thing went down. Um, the cops was like, they were gangster. Like, I, it's like, oh, boom. Okay, the speed is up. Training day. Mm-hmm. In movie training day? Yeah, that okay. happened in the Bronx. That shit is every day, yeah, yeah. all day. Okay, right. just go watch training day right. and you'll know what they're it just is. It's just one of the gangs. Right. It's just, there's just another yeah. gang with another right. yeah. jurisdiction. Now you said that yeah. back then. And, and this is what we was dealing with. So if you remember in Boogie Down Productions, we had a, we had a dude called Robocop that was with us. Mm. And there were two of them. Okay. One was... Um, a bounce was the lead bouncer at Latin Quarters, mm. who was known for breaking dudes up right. in Latin Quarters. He had a reputation. Right. You didn't want to deal with this dude, okay? Right. And there was another dude uh, that was a state trooper, a New Jersey state trooper. Um, when I'm posing on the on the cover of By All Means Necessary with the Uzi. The Uzi is from a New Jersey State Trooper. Oh, shit. I, I, tried, I, tried to, I tried to bite his cover, remember? In, in the studio? I tried to bite your cover. I had a, a chopper. I didn't look as cool as you. I didn't look as cool as you. Look ahead. That was from a New Jersey State Trooper. So with us, it was like, it got to a point where we was like, you know what? We, we can't associate with you anymore because of what was going on. It was a split, like, in our own community because, like, if you really in the hood, like, like, you could be selling mad drugs, but your brother's a cop. Mm. Like, your cousin's a cop. Your mm. uncle's a cop. Mm. Like, you know, it's not just, oh, I'm a cop and everybody around me is clean. Right. It's the exact opposite. Dudes that are cops, even today, they got to live with people. Like, like, imagine you a cop and every day you see crime all around you, every day. Right. Like you can just pick, okay, I'm gonna arrest you today. <laughs> but how did you come up with the analogy from officer to overseer? Oh, but that's that's some old shit because when we when we oh, were okay. first when we were first brought here, uh, not as slaves, but really as soldiers uh, on the Spanish side, mm. um, uh, and and then slaves on the English side. Although that's controversial too. Right. But um, yo ha, yes, yo hit. 
Yo, hit that. Yo, we gotta get you a new phone, KRS. No, no, I need that <laughs> one. I need that shit. I need listen, that shit. Listen, man. My shit is 80. You got a flip you see phone, my shit? KRS. Yeah, we can't do nigga. that. We can't do that. Yo, I'm bringing listen, that shit back. Fuck I'm getting you. I'm personally buying you. An I got iPhone. a beeper, nigga. What? <laughs> I got a beeper. <laughs> Yo, yo, this is my word. Yo, listen, this is my word. I said, yo, I, I, I want a beep. I, I feel like beeper. I got a beat, KRS. We should do, we should I didn't even bring that. my shit. Yo, you I, gotta, I got no, a beep. No, you serious? I'm oh, serious. No, I thought you brought it up. I got a beep, man. You gotta, you still I gotta, gotta hold my beep, man. Let's bring beepers back, We got to do that. Let's bring no beepers back. Yo, fuck that. Yo, KRS. You want to get with Dream Champs, you got to beep us. Yeah, yeah, you got to beep us. I'm What's personally that? buying KRS. Oh, iPhone, word. Okay, okay, That's my okay, word. okay, okay, okay. So you remember you were talking about? Because it's um, drink chaps. You could forget it, and no, we're going to change no, the subject. Um, <laughs> it's okay. Um, yeah, I did. Yeah, it's okay. Listen. Cops, Rewind cops, the tape. Cops in the community. No. Oh, cops in the community. Cops That's in right. Cops in the community. That's right. Sound of the police. So the cops is always your friends in the hood, which is the weirdest shit. Right. Because when you really in the hood... Cops ain't arresting you and shooting you. Mm -hmm. These are bitches that are shooting at us. These right. motherfuckers, that ain't no real shit. Yeah. That's some bullshit. Okay, right. that's that's scared. They they said we scared. You right. know? That's what we shoot because we scared. Right. Real cops, right. they know exactly who's selling, right. who to hit. Right. The DA, hit, yo, go watch Training Day. Right. The DA tell you, go hit this dude. To, yeah. now, you go, know what I, you don't know what hit I say? this one. I say all the time, when we have police brutality, is is when they stop letting the cops from the hood right. control the hood. Control because you know See? if you know what you call it right. from down the yeah, block, he right. went to school with him. Right. You know he's a thief. Right. You don't need to kill him. Right. But when it, what happened is they, they take the cops from our hood and they bring them... To right. another place, right. and then they bring the cops from another place, right. and that's and they don't know no borderline. That's 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 one of the essential reasons why police brutality exists. Because if you had Jamal that that's from Soundview yeah, Projects, that right. and that went to school in Soundview, right. and then now was patrolling Soundview, right. he's going to be different as opposed to he's Walter, a real judge, as opposed to Walter, right. who's from wherever, wherever, but right. now he's patrolling Soundview. He's never seen a kid right. with braids. Right. He's never seen a kid eat a 10 cent ice icy. So he's going to just do whatever. So but that's wait why a minute. I, I, but wait a minute, wait a minute. There's, there's, there's one more piece to that. There's one more ahead, piece to that. Ahead. Add on. The police are supposed to be the model citizen in exactly. the community, exactly. no matter who you are. Yeah. Right. White cop, black cop, Latino right. cop, Asian cop, Arab cop, right. I don't give a fuck who you are. Right. You take, you take tr police training, you're supposed to be the model citizen. You should have the right. most restraint. You should have the most restraint, right. okay? Kids are looking at you. They should be able to look at you and be like, yo, dad, I want to be a cop. Yep. And right. your dad be like, yo, you got to really be a good man to be a cop. Right. And that, that's what it's supposed to be. But right. our children, forget adults, okay? Right. Children know the cops are corrupt. Yep. Right. <laughs> okay, right. that's the state we at, right? Kids, not forget the adults. Right. Kids know I'm not safe around this dude. I'd right. rather be around my shooters over here wearing the right. rag on yep. their head. I'm right. more safe around Crips and Bloods. Right. I'd rather hire... Yo, I'm even going to say that shit. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm it's just okay. saying, I'd rather hire them, which right. we do, right. <laughs> as opposed to some, some off-duty cop. Years right. ago, we used to hire off-duty cops, ex-FBI, these dudes need jobs, you just go ahead and you hire them for a night, you give them some money, you're doing right. your country a service, these are right. veterans and shit, right. you do your thing. Now, it's like, nah, man, let me organize these bloods over here, right. hit them with some money, because that's all they on the street yeah. for, let me right. hit them with some cash, and y'all God, y'all can stand there and just do what you're supposed to do and get organized, I'd rather hire them. As long as we know that we're not safe around the police, this whole shit is corrupt. And let me show you this. On some Illuminati shit, if you really want to know, mm -hmm. years know. ago, like 82, yeah. there was a supposedly a conspiracy theory going around about uh -huh. 82, 83, uh -huh. that said that the New World Order is going to include a global police force. And the way to implement the global police force was for local police to become so hated by the local community that the local communities cry out 
for international interference. So now you have these cops today randomly just shooting down black people, just shooting, and it's stupid. It's like, it's ridiculous. Right. Now the rest of the world is saying, yo, what's up with America? Yeah, what's true. what's up with you go to other places you know Nori you go to places yeah. dudes looking at us like we crazy right. like yo what's going on? I got Africans ask me yo bro what's up man a black like, man like sometimes you land in these different countries they be like welcome like right you survived like you survived <laughs> no doubt <laughs> like you're here you're here Word. like you survived and dudes and you think that's because because Barack became president it got worse or nah nah no okay. okay. nah, nah, the got image is being put it. out there yeah. you saying it all right. yeah no 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 you know what it got to do it got a lot of factors in it. First of all, people want black people in jail. Right. Okay? People making money on it. Black people are making money on black people in jail. Okay? Wow. This black DA it's sending... Like, like Michael it's Jordan, business. you say. Like my, no, no doubt. Yeah, yeah. This black DA sending black people to prison. Black right. judges are sending black, black people cops. to prison. Black right. cops are sending black, black people cops. to prison. Black cops. Yes. Black cops. Stop shooting black people. We all gonna drop... I got you. All right, cool. You know, so it's like, it's like, are we really at war with any outside force? Are we at war with ourselves? Or are we just going along with the script that they have planned for us? And it's like straight up and down. They just had, Talib Kweli was just with me the other day. He came over, yes. so watched the show. In Orlando. In Orlando. I'm on you. I was stalking you. No, he was just at the White House, too. Uh, uh, yeah. He just told me. Yeah. He just came from the White House. Yeah with a couple other rappers were there. And really nothing got discussed, you know? And they never call people like me or Chuck or M1 or- They don't they, call they, me they either. They don't call no Because I'm a shooter though. You no know, doubt. And, 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 that's, that's, who they need, that's who they need. That's who they need. It's all over my record, Kara. They never, no, Sorry. but you know what? They had Rick there, you know what I'm saying? He had they an had ankle Rick, brace. He had an ankle brace. Was there, Khaled was there. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? So I'm saying, no, why don't they call? Because they know you're going to come with the truth. Well, look, here's the point is that, is that, we're moving into this script. The United States has to become what its name is in order to, for it to survive. United. 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 Mm. Fuck all this black shit, Give white shit. Give me a drink of your Give Come me on. this shit. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this, yeah. This, this, is, this is legendary. This is a picture Sh right what? here. What, right here? Make a, yeah. America. We got to become a United. United. Okay, America got to stand up for America. Like mm. straight up. When you go to other countries, niggas dissing us, man. Yeah. Dissing Americans, dissing not everybody because my. Well, you remember when Barack first came president? No we were the oh, shit. Everybody was. We were the shit oh, when we were overseas. No doubt. Yo, when I went overseas, they was like Black Man. I was like, <laughs> oh shit. At like the like the first year. Word. Then after that, they and was they like, was oh, down like hell. It was like, oh yeah, shit. Yeah, I'm fucking up. You know now, what? Now there's a rumor that you didn't fly. That's right. You was taking boats. Yep. And Fat Joe, you you in Fat Oh no doubt, and Aretha Franklin. Yeah. So so, do you, do you fly now? <laughs> no, I'll fly privately. Right. Uh, I love flying. I fly helicopters. I will fly right. private jets. You right. know things like that. I take a few private jets here and there, but uh, commercial airlines for me is mm. too much. The love in the hood is too much I, for KRS. I don't. I can't do nothing like. You, you know, like, to get to the airport, it takes me an hour to baggage claim, bucking, the whole right. baggage claim. I right. got to take pictures with everybody, right. count up, because I'm not leaving my people. I'm not just going to walk past you. So right. everybody say, yo, Chris, I got to stop. I got to take pictures. I got to sign right. shit, get on the plane, the stewardess bugging, the people right. on, the bu on the plane bugging, right. the captain. I said, you know what? And this was 97. I said, forget it. You I'm not flying. flying. I'm not flying no more. I can't. You I, haven't flown since 97. Yeah, since 97. Damn. I, ain't, wow. I ain't, Actually, 96. Let's make some noise for him being rich. That's, 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 I don't know if you got to read me between the lines. Yeah. That's some rich shit. She said, well, look, private said, listen, there, go ahead. Go it's ahead. not rich. I'm yes, not a rich man. I'm a very don't, poor man. No, no. I, me too. I say the same thing. I take a dollar of poverty. I'm, yeah, I, I'm not rich at all. Me too. I'm poverty, nigga. <laughs> Come on, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it, let's do it my brother. But I, you want the know, private things. Let's talk about but I, that. But, but, I, but I will fly uh, privately. Look, yeah. I take very good care of my wife and my children. Okay, mm. that's what it is. Yeah, I don't need guy. anything. Right. But they need a lot. 
So, you know, I say, look, I don't want to have a career where I'm away from my kids or my wife and this, that, and the other. So, right. And I can't be away from my wife. She books all the tours. Did so, you book a, a boat to London? Right? I heard yeah. that, too. I, oh, heard, yeah, I heard this story. But that's why I'm rushing out of here now. Wait, to get the boat? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to Spain oh, tomorrow. Oh. Wait, time out, time out. He's drunk. Time out, time out. Are you getting on a boat to Spain? Tomorrow, that's why I'm in Miami. <laughs> I, I'm going to tomorrow. This is crazy. Norwegian, Norwegian cruise pulls right. right up to your port. <laughs> right. I'm getting on that shit. And then it goes to Spain. It goes to Spain. How, how many days is 14 that? 14 days. I'll be in Barcelona. What? Oh. <laughs> so 14 days. <laughs> He's on the cruise the whole 14 days. No, worry, no yeah. doubt. No yes. doubt. This is, this is crazy. You and Colin is like the only two left. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know Kyle don't fly neither? Nah, you I, mean, I, I got that from Joe. I think he got it from I Joe. I expect it though. No, nah, why Joe should Kyle fly? Why should he fly? So why? What? 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 Why you wouldn't fly commercial? Well, flight? well, well. First of all, like I told you, commercial travel to me is just hectic. Okay. You besides that, like you know. Now, besides that, I have books to write. I got okay. rhymes to write. I read right. a lot. My life is slower. You right. know what I'm saying? So you need I quiet. take time with my family, my wife, my right. daughter, my sons. I got you need time for that. Mm. So, you know, 14 days at sea. I'm finishing up three books that I'm just finishing oh, up. So you're writing. saying you just zone out. You, you zone out. That. Oh, that's you zone I, I'm out. I'm gonna try that one time. You should you should try writing rhymes in the middle ADD. of the Atlantic. I got ADD. Hit that water. KRS. You don't have ADD, you smoke too much. Yeah, that's my <laughs> ADD. I might just jump off at sea. Actually, no, ADD is cured. Marijuana cures that's, that that's shit. What I'm Saying. So, That's why he doesn't have AD. And the thing oh, is, right. the weed I smoke is so loud, like it's gonna be Sorry. a judge that come out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you a story, right? No doubt. I'm gonna tell you a story. I was in Hawaii because I, I remember this story because he's drinking my ties. <laughs> so I'm in Hawaii, right? I'm out. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I'm smoking weed, right? I, I'm, this is my first uh, marriage. It's my first. I'm, I'm married again. It's my second one. Righteous. Pray for me. No doubt. So, no doubt. I'm I'm sitting there smoking. The people at the Four Seasons, the Four Seasons Maui. So they call me and they say, "Yo, are you smoking up there?" And I'm like, "Yeah. I don't know what I paid for this room, but I just know my accountant lost her mind." <laughs> so I'm like, "Yeah, I'm smoking." They're like, "Cause you would you mind not smoking on the terrace?" So I said, "Now you're inviting me to smoke in the room." <laughs> They're like, you're right. They're like, we have a very important guest that is upstairs. And I'm like, did the guest pay more than me? Uh. And they're like, no. So I'm like, well, they're like, Mr. Santiago? That's my last name. No, huh? I don't know if you know I'm Puerto Rican. Make some noise for Latinos. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm black and Latino. So, so they say. I'm actually performing they, in Santiago. That's in, what's in up. In Spain. This, no is, this is a gift. No doubt. So they say to me. They say, you're right, you're actually outside, you can't do it. Boom. I look on the news. This is when Oprah's um, stepson had drowned in Hawaii and Maui. Oh, so man. the person I was telling them to tell them, fuck that, I paid the same amount, was fucking Oprah. Oh. This is horrible. This is a morbid story. Man. No, but no, it's, it's I like dope that because shit. I like that. I actually paid square for square. We had the same exact room. That's God right. bless, you know, the people who passed away and, and everything. But that shit was just a moment for no me. No doubt. It was a moment for just me standing my ground, but now I'm That's married right. again. Yeah. And um trying to make this one work. That's okay. right. Yes. Second one's always the best. You're second, you the second one too? Yeah, Miss Melody was first. Okay. That was about a year Melody. and a half and big up to her. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. What, well, no. Miss Melody passed away? Yes, Miss yes. Melody's God up. God bless. No I did not know that. I'm every Rest religion, by the way. Nah, no doubt. So if you see me do that, I'm... Nah, no doubt. I'm a Muslim, to that, my chief. Christian, no doubt. God body. Yes. Yo, KRS, thank you for so much for hanging out with us. We're not going to... We, we can, can keep talk going with you, you know, forever. And I'll come back. You have Yo, to. No, I got 14 back. days when I come back. The people need you. Let's just break it down for these people. You are going 14 days. Yes. So now how does this cruise happen? You leave Miami. Yes. Do you stop anywhere? <laughs> yes. Where do you stop at? We stop in Funk Hall, Africa. We okay, stop hold on, in... hold on, hold on. Just... You go from Miami to Africa? Oh, yeah, we got a little piece of Africa today. real quick. This is a trip that goes from Miami to fucking Africa, and I've never He's heard about it. on us right Wait now. a minute, there's, there's, there's some is... Bahamas, a little Bahamas. A little Bahamas. A little Bahamas, then you get okay. out to Africa, then you and get out... And you've done this trip before. Oh, yeah, no doubt. Not on this ship, but I've done other ships. I've done and this And how one. many times do you say you've done this? 
Oh, sailed? Yes. Oh, at least 30 times. And you believe in a boat. He's so never seen legs. Titanic. Oh. No, no, no. There's no Titanic. There's no Titanic. Anywhere in the Atlantic Ocean, the Coast Guard will get you in 10 minutes. Mm. Anywhere. <laughs> it ain't all that boat. That's bullshit. That's just movie shit. That's There's movie rich shit. motherfuckers on that boat. That boat ain't going nowhere. Right. <laughs> right. There's right. nowhere. There's no, so there's that boat no ain't going Titanic. Nowhere. There's no that. Uh. Now, mind you now. Come on now. Caribbean cruises and all that. The, the, you, How about the, um, the hood cruise? What's the circle? So, so, What's the circle? Say again. Um, you get sea miles. Do I get them? Sea miles. Oh, yeah, no doubt. You get platinum, gold, status. No, but Caribbean is thugging out their passengers. No doubt. No, but no, but some some of those um, ships. The triangle, the Bermuda Triangle. You ever been there? Yeah. We in it. In a boat? Miami's a part of the Bermuda Triangle. Yeah. You've you've been in the Bermuda Triangle. They go right through it. Get the fuck out of here. The Bermuda Triangle only acts up when, when like, you know, you you have to go through that and, like, like, um, it's like certain seasons where they say hurricane boats season, are de- yeah it's like hurricane season or this kind of thing look everything's so explainable so get to the bottom line you trust a boat more yes. than a plane no no okay. no Okay. I trust me <laughs> driving shit more than anything Okay, right. I would prefer to get my own boat and right. sail across the sea myself but I'm not going to settle for a small yacht like right. you know I, I, I could do a small yacht right now but Right. That's not what I want. What I want is an actual ship that I could go across, and that costs mad money. Right. So I'm just holding out till I can get my own ship, and then I could I could steer so, myself. Some motherfuckers want to buy planes. They yeah. want to own liquor. He wants liquor. to buy a ship. Karis want to own a ship. God damn it, make some noise back. God damn it. Not a yacht, but a ship. Straight ship. Straight ship. Straight up, no doubt. So you think, dude, I'm going to give you this last one. Um, this is the last question. Boxing. Yes. Don't have no representative, which means that if you're a boxer, you make it, you make it. Mm-hmm. If you're a boxer, you don't make it, you're fucked up. There's no rep- there's no reparations. There's right. no like you know type of you know to hold you down. Hip hop is the only other, mm. uh, I want to say, entertainment company that mm. we might have thirty people that's down with us. Right. But when you go on that vocal booth or you go to perform that record, it's just you. Right. Similar to boxing. Right. We don't have nothing representing us in hip hop. We hear that the president just recently meet, met with these people, Talib Kweli, brothers that we know, Busta Rhymes. Mm-hmm. What do you think is our solution <clears throat> to make our, We need a hip hop union. Well, you wanted the life insurance or the health insurance. No, no, no. I'm, I'm even further than that now. Um, yeah. <clears throat> well, let me, let me, wow. Because, like, right now, like, like DOC, right? Yeah. Phenomenal guy. Lost yeah. his voice. No doubt. There should have been health insurance that could have helped him restore yes. that. Yes. We didn't have that. And right now, it's right. because Jada Kiss said something on our podcast. He said, we're the only people who have a hip-hop South, a hip-hop... Regions, yeah. West. Should just mm-hmm. There's hip-hop. no hip-hop... There's no rock and roll South. Right. There's right. no rock and roll... Why yeah. are we segregating ourselves? Why are we... Right. Seg- and, and, and do we need this, this, this policies where we... If Ku Herc gets sick, we can right. go and help him. Right. Do we need that? Yes, we do. Yeah. Uh, yes, we do. And, 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 and I advocate it, uh, absolutely. Unity is the only thing. We talked about American unity. Okay. Let's, let's tweak it down to hip-hop unity. Hip-hop is the greatest urban movement to hit human history. Mm. Let's just start human history. Mm. Okay? Human history. That's hard. Okay? Hip-hop, breaking and seeing graffiti art, DJ, and beatboxing. You could add street fashion, language, knowledge, knowledge, all of that. That movement in the hood, that that right there, hip hop is is what America really is. Mm, yep. It's like the the true declaration of independence. It's what America is. But we got these old people. You asked me also about hip hop's old school, okay? I have respect for the old school. We all, we should. We, we those should. are the ancestors. Those are the elders. Those are the fathers, mm-hmm. godfathers, and so on. That's, that's what it is. Right. But when you don't do your job, mm. you don't deserve the respect of the youth. Mm. Elders always asking for respect that they don't deserve. Mm. Me, I try to earn the respect of the youth. I don't look down on them. I think they're smarter than me. I think they're faster than me. Mm-hmm. I think they think of things beyond what I can think about. Now, of course, I tell them, hey, look, 
I'm the old head in the room, and I like that shit. I'm 50. Fuck mm. this shit, okay? Mm. That's my shit. I got an AARP card. Oh, wait, come <laughs> on. Come on, show me AARP. Okay. Yo, Sonny, show me AARP. My nigga right there. Keep him. Yo, hold on. My nigga got an AARP card. I ain't got my wallet, yo, nigga. Yo, I'll yo, pull my me. shit out. Yeah, he's right. proud. He's proud. Yo, yo. Proud. Yo, proud. Hold up. This gotta be the next episode. My dude got his oh, shit. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo. yo, yo. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. What? Okay, hold up, but my, my what? 50% <laughs> off hotels? <laughs> Free bagels at Free food and bullshit. What? Yo, this gotta be the next episode. Yo, this gotta be the This shit yo, is madness. I'm yo, legend, yo, that's yo, crazy. Yo, let me the tell elder, you. Yeah, yeah, okay? Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. We the, yo, we the elders in this. Right. Young people are supposed to look up to us. Right. And be like, yo, that's what it means to be 50 in hip hop. Right. Word, you got your knowledge down pack, your family straight, you got your money right, you doing your thing. That's what young people need to see right. and see more the of. The blueprint. Right? The blueprint. Right. Now, we gonna do it. Shows mm. like this, your shit bringing people together right now as we speak. Right, right now, as we speak, dudes is hearing what it is. Right. What we got to do is really unite. And here's what it's going to take. Here's, you asked us about the Stop the Violence movement, about why brothers ain't doing that today. What, like, right. what, what's so hard to do that today? Right. Too, much, too much competition, not enough cooperation. Mm. Okay? We live in a capitalist society. I'm going to just try to pass you the blunt. Was, Come on, man. That's okay. We, 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 just... we, we live in a capitalist society where... Uh, uh, where competition is the number one order of the day. So mm. the young are trained to kill the old so mm. that you could get, so, so that you could be what it is. The young are trained to kill the old. The old are trained to kill the young so you right. can stay in power. Kill these youngins as they coming up. I don't Why want you to take hip hop the only generation like, you know, the Osley brothers could tour forever. Why do they try to kill the older? Well, it's that People. it's that competition. It's still competition. Look, when we stop when we stop thinking of hip hop as a music and start thinking of it as a culture, a nation, yep. a community. When you start realizing that you are a nation, you're a sovereign nation. Mm. All we gotta do is unite. There's no ages of mm. me. Just culture. just unite. Just here, here's the unity. All right, here it is. Let's print our own currency. All right, start right there. This is the unity of any nation. Mm. Starts with trust. Right. We print a hundred thousand dollars for every hip hop citizen in existence. We got a million citizens. This is we brilliant. print a hundred million of our currency. We get Jay Z. We get Jay Z Nas, currency. We get 50 Nas, right? All the way. Fifty cent will be a fifty cent. There you go. That's hard. That's hard. <laughs> He'll right. be a 50 cent, well, I'm coming right now. He'll, well, he'll, he'll be a 50 cent piece. I mean, 50 is worth more than that. Right, but you know but what I'm saying, saying though, saying. print our own currency. And let's see if the people spend that. No, they will. Wow. You'll be instantly rich. So instead of people buying albums, we give them currency. Give them That's currency, our, buy our currency, like not Bitcoin. our albums. Instead wow. of Bitcoin, it's hip-hop Right, currency. forget selling an album. We did that. We know that game. Right. Now let's sell currencies yeah. in which you got the KRS currency. And dude be like, yo, this shit is worth this this week. Up against the American dollar, up against the, 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 the yen, up against the euro. This is mad, bro. Up against this shit. Yo, look, if, if you gave me $100,000, let's say you get, no, let's say I gave you $100,000. You can give me $100,000. Okay, yeah, I'll give you $100,000. You. Hip hop currency. Currency. I'm okay, in. hip hop. Now, you're going to spend it with my man right here. The what, we, what we want is specialized people mm -hmm. to have this money. Electricians. Right now, hip hop is old enough. We got doctors, lawyers, UPS workers, UPS workers. we got all yes. kinds of people, and yes. entrepreneurs. And entrepreneurs. Okay, huge entrepreneurs. Right. All we got to do is trade our own currency with each other. With each other. There's hip hoppers that own stores, farms. Right. Look, dude, fuck that American dollar. Fuck Air the Rest euro. Is smart. Let's make fuck some noise. The pound. Yeah. Fuck that all is the that shit. shit. Yeah. We got to get out of here, man. Yeah.
Damn, I was here. I can't hit you. I was about to hit you. I wanted to see if you were going to hit the blunt. I'm sorry, Garrett. No, man, I, I, I do paper. Try you. I do paper. Uh, this is paper. This is see-through no, paper. No, that's some old brown shit. This, yeah. No, 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 no. This is see-through paper. I mean, I can't paper. even fuck with you. Look, I, I got to be up till 4 in the morning. Come on, yeah, let's take too. this flick. Let's look, 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 look. see-through paper, Garrett. <laughs> I just want to hit one blunt. That shit look plastic. I'm not fucking what? with you. It's plastic. I don't fuck with that shit. I ain't fucking with that shit. He not going to fall for your shit. The new generation. Roll a joint, nigga. Yo, we got a joint. We got a joint somewhere around here. Somewhere around here. Yo, KRS, I love you so Thank much, you man. Much, man. Thank you so much for joining us and being a great sport. Yo. You took a drink. You even tried to smoke. You didn't want to. <laughs> you got it in some oh, yeah. weird shit. Yeah, no, this is plastic. Like, this is plastic. Got we got plastic. Plastic. You want to smoke a blunt? We can no. give you a blunt. Drink Bring you back I'm to the old school doobie joint. brother. I'm a doobie Can you pass brother. that over there? Can you pass that over there? That's the drink know. chance. What up, foobie? Yeah. We, we got to take one picture with you over there. Please, Hakeem please. Green, there's no way I could thank you ever in my thank life. You. I'm going to be in your video. Uh, I'm just, always, just let me have a moment. I'm going to be in your video. But there's no way I could thank you ever uh, in life because this is, this is actually... Like one of the first hip hop albums I ever listened to man. was this man this right here. Her, wow. One of the first people that I ever said that I thought about, like my mom was like, what you gonna be in life? And I was just like, I don't know. I knew I couldn't be a teacher. Mm. Not like you. But you are. But I am a teacher. You are. But not like you. I'm a different teacher because I show them the different paths. Oh, but if I've never would have heard you, I would have never wanted to speak. I would never be here. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So Hakeem Green, Respect. you know, that's my brother. He Respect. called me. And when he called me, I said, I knew the number, but I, I hit him back. Yo, and I just said, did a record with Hawk called Hockey. Madism, Sparking and Madism. Madison. And he got a website, right? Come on, Hakeem, Madison. come over here. Yo, hold on, hold on. You, you, yo, come over here. Here, here. Hit that mic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... Shout out to your website, Hakeem Green. We got the madism.org popping off, the ultimate cannabis journal. You know, you, uh. got the, you got the madism popping off internationally. It's big money right now. I want to make right. sure my people get a taste of that. You know what I mean? So see us over at madism.org so you right. can keep up with all the latest grow techniques. You know what I mean? For you know, grow, when you say grow, let's, uh, just, let's, let's well, be honest. I'm talking yeah, no, about right weed. Now. I'm talking yeah. about cannabis. I'm talking right. about that goodness, that chronic, that, that right. you know, what we do. Yes, what, right. What we got going on. Right That's right. You know, cats need to know how to grow for themselves. It's not... Not just about smoking it, but industrial hemp is a multi-billion dollar industry. We see you got the pipe in the mail. We see you just got a pipe in the mail. Big that up. Yeah, got the whole. We got the, the hot box. You know what I mean? The hot box. How we got I different wish. ways of you know the vaping. Got the smoking, the leaves, the paper, the blunts, the whole. But we got the hot box. Mm. It's just a special way of inhaling. You know what I mean? Mm. It's real, real good. Yeah. That yeah. shit is important, yeah. man. Now, it's I can't important. rest. I got one more. Yeah. Are you a vegetarian? What are you? Yeah. Yes. So you don't eat no fish? No. I try to eat, uh, uh, I lean toward a vegetarian diet, but I do eat fish. You eat fish. Like, I'm pescatarian How about you? as well. I'm not a vegetarian, right? right? But I am about my health. I do a lot of juicing, and I see you keep up with the bartenders, I'll be trying. I'm happy about yeah, that. I'll be too. trying. I'll be, trying. Yeah, I see. I'll be fucking up, then I drink. Yeah. It's yeah. fucked up. You <laughs> running. You, you yeah, running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything's yeah. good to get here. Green. Salute, Thank bro. you so much for plugging this my in, brother. my brother. Hot Yo, no KRS. Yo, I called you Chris for the first time in my life. I never Yo, called you Chris. In that's right, that's KRS. No, no, is no, Chris. but you know what? It's through the records. It's like, I oh, never yeah. knew if I had the ability to call you Chris. No Thank doubt. you so much. I appreciate he was this, the man. Greatest sport. You actually sat down and drank. I didn't think Yo, I was gonna be able. To, I didn't think I was gonna be able to get away with it. Shout out but to thank Sidebar. You, thank you so much, Sidebar. Everybody. Yo, man, who the fuck? Oh my God! Let's take this pic. Let's take this pic. Let's take this pic. Yep.